I miss this save so much. I, yes, we have to get like, we're going to have to do a synopsis because it's been so long since we've played this save file. Um, so, oh my God, why are you so mad? F Fury of the trolls from a social, okay, that's fair. I'll show you our house first. This is what our Sims are living in. <laughs> this is what our Sims are living in right now. <laughs> it's not the nicest. It's not the nicest. But we're working on it. They don't have a, like, as you, we only have 800 uh, simoleons. So, um, it's fine. It's fine. There's three Sims living here. Um, I think, okay, well, Ark is at work. I don't know. Oh, here, they're down here. Um, everything have a huge place of over 15 hundred hours i love that i like i'm glass animals i'm a big glass animals fan it's a bit of a fixer upper um so these three i think are they teens still are you a teen no you are you are a high school drop yeah as you can see um so two of our sims uh dropped out of high school old fish factory um they're all yeah they're all young adults now i think i aged them up um, but I'm going to go into cast and I'll show you these Sims. I'll get, I'll introduce you to the Sims first and then we'll kind of go into a little bit of a backstory from, uh, everything. Um, first listening to five sauce, the Rex and Bard's <laughs> Courtney on loop. That's fair. Very fair. So this is our main Sim. This is Arca. Arca, uh, uses a, a, any pronouns, but am and it, its pronouns are, um, kind of its preferred, kind of its preferred. Arca is an alien, as you can see, an alien. Um, which we'll get into the lore behind why Arca's an alien in a little bit. Um, but this is Arca. Absolutely obsessed. Absolutely obsessed with it. Yeah. Um, maybe one of my favorite sims that I've ever made. Just full stop. Ever. Uh, I'll kind of give you a tour of the outfits and whatnot. <laughs> uh, but just... Chef's Kiss, baby. Chef's Kiss is a hyperpop artist. Uh, for those that don't know, Arca is a main character name for real. Yes. So what I've been doing about this um, with this challenge is that each of our generations, because Arca is our heir. So um, each generation, the heir has a name that is of someone in that's either in like pop culture or in history who has um, the same uh, name as like someone that shares an identity. So for Arca, if you know um, Arca, the music producer slash artist, um Arca shares a name with them they are also uh non-binary super great our second generation was langston named after langston hughes it was the bi slash pan generation as well as um wait you're a lot oh my gosh wait monique that's so cool look at us great minds think alike great minds think alike uh and then our first generation was the lesbian generation and it was named uh after our like our sim was named after leslie feinberg who is a fantastic um lesbian author would definitely recommend reading stone butch blues if you are part of the queer community or not you should just read stone butch blues you should read it it's really good <laughs> really good um i think he was a, he was like one that was like rumored to be by a mermaid i don't know if it was like ever confirmed or rumored but it was like one of those things where it was like he probably was but also like you know how p people in history are they're like they were roommates they were best friends Never married anyone, but they were best friends with another man, and they lived together. They were they were just the best of pals, only pals they've never kissed once in their life. You know, you know how things are. <laughs> um, you just saw Peach Pit. I love Peach Pit. Oh, they were roommates. They were roommates. History hates lovers. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they were roommates for over thirty years, and they had a bulldog together, and they would take each other home for the holidays. But they were not gay. They weren't gay. They weren't gay. They were just friends. They were best of friends. <laughs> the Anne who lives with her best friend. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, this is Arca. I love Arca so much. Arca has the musical genius aspiration as well as uh, and then the traits we have are goofball, insider, and music lover. Um, this is Arca's... Uh, I like imagine... We also imagine um arca to be very tall like i don't have the height slider mod um oh the book recommendation i got you it is called stone butch blues by leslie feinberg there you go um would definitely recommend it's you can read it free on leslie's site as well um 
you don't have to get it from a library or anything like that. You can read it for free. Uh, yeah, Arca gives us like six eleven energy. Um, it would be a tall one. Yeah, yeah, it would be very tall if I had the height slider in. Um, but alas, I don't. So <laughs> I was very like nervous to get the height slider mod. I don't know why. Is by Alexander Hamilton. Really, I didn't know. I don't wear that one. Uh, a tall alien character again. Damn you! I'm sorry. Hi, Peachy. Welcome in. How are you? Um, here's our sleep attire. We've got party. The party tires wears out. I'll be honest. I popped off of this outfit. This outfit. Some of my best work. Some of my best work. <laughs> um, mod mess with animations. Sometimes it does. Yeah. There's like a few like issues with it here and there. It's not, like perfect, but um, I pardon me wants to get it just to even make like slight modifications. You know. Um, uh, but John Lawrence, I did not know that Gigi. Today I've learned. Today I've learned. Um, so fun because queer subcultures are top tier. I love it. It's just like so, f I, I'll be honest, I've been really enjoying this legacy a lot. Um, one of the two mods you have. Oh, there we go. Um, I've seen anyone listen to Dead Man's Bones. I love this song so much. I haven't listened to a lot of their other, I, I think I've listened to like a few uh, other songs yeah. by them, but I really love the song a lot. It just like, it gets its little... Little, the, it gets into my, my little brain worms, if you will. It is posted somewhere, Azrin. Yes. Um, there you go. There is the rules and everything. Hi, Selkie. How are you? Um, Soul Street, where kind of the vibe I wanted to go for. She go vibes. Oh, <gasps> yes. Things are good. Of course. Of course. Um, we have our, our swimwear. We've got hot uh, weather tire. Again, this is another, I'll say it. This popped off again. Arca's outfits, I did well. I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself. Um, who's the guy? Please out. Nick Drake. Ooh, I'll have to take a peek. I'll have to take a peek. Been sick with the flu. Oh, Selkie, I'm sending you all the good vibes. Getting through it. And hopefully, fingers crossed for you that you get a full recovery soon, friend. Are you doing something to me? The brain worms again, I see. Hi, Mimi. My wor there's worms in my brain, right? My brain's full of worms. <laughs> Comfort friend I had in high school. Oh, Alicia, I love that. Mm. I'm dying, please. Oh my God, yes. Anyone that is sick right now. I know it, it's, I feel like it's like sick season for sure. Um, but yeah, Arca is a, um, is a musical artist, really good at piano. I also, I think I wanted to get Arca into DJ mixing as well. Um, kind of we're thinking like uh Arca's like into hyper pop a lot as well as just like in general like electronic music. Um I'll show you Arca's alien form. I don't know. Oh, I guess I did do your alien form. Um here's Arca's alien form. <laughs> a cutie. An absolute cutie. Um discovered he was a genius. Oh my gosh. Um it's quad threat season. There's so much going around. Yeah, please take care of yourself, chat. Took a pepper on a walk. How was your walk? I don't think I did. I think this is the only outfit I did. Uh, I guess maybe I did some more. Um, then not these. But this is this is our alien form here. This is our alien form. It's the reason why Ark is an alien is kind of a long story that we'll get into at some point once we kind of do a recap of everything. And then this is L Wilkes. So L is currently our roommate, one of our besties, our childhood best friend. We have been friends with L for so long so long um but this is l i love l um debbie mckillian's music i love that yes uh, arc is real to me oh i love that uh yesterday had 100 kilometer 60 mile per hour winds oh my god that's that's some fast winds that's some l used to look like sheldon cooper no no, 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 <laughs> not anymore. My chat room like to say like to say that uh, L looked like Sean Cooper, but I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it personally. Um, but L also wants to be a musical genius. Really good at the drums. L's big uh, into the drums, uh, drum vibes. Um, socially awkward, hot headed, and a music lover. We've been friends literally since childhood. Since childhood. Uh, and he's just very like gets into a lot of fights, as you can tell from uh some of the scars he's got on his face uh definitely very much into the f like into 
now does a lot of kickboxing. Like a lot, does a lot of boxing to kind of like channel that aggression and that anger. Um, especially from being you know hot headed. Came from a military family as well, um, and stole a lot of his military ma- family's money um, when he ran away from home. Uh, which is a really fun thing that happened with our kids is a lot of them ran away from home. Uh, these two ran away when they were teens. They, uh, Arker got into a really bad fight with his parents. Um, and it kind of went downhill from there. Yeah, Elle's parents were not great. They were not good. They were not great people. Um, but yeah, Arker got into an, a fight, uh, with its parents and it was like, well, let's run away. And Elle was like, well, I'll come with you because, like, fuck living here. Uh, we did a number generator for the amount of money that Elle stole from um, from his parents. <laughs> we, did a, we did, like, a number generator for, like, how much they had. And he took a lot. He took a lot. Um, and then they moved into a really shitty apartment in the city. And, uh, yeah, Elle, just like a drummer, does a lot of boxing as well. Um, and they were part of a band. They were part of the band. Um... Uh, that has military jacket covered in, <laughs> in anarchy leftist patches. I love that. Like the name L. I was like really into it. I don't know why. I like just made L randomly. It would have been really tragic if he only stole two dollars because they would have had to move just like they would have not been able to survive very well because their first apartment was really bad. I think it's still up. I'll show you all because there's an ad that's about to play. So we can show the apartment um while the ad plays. We got like 18k, I think. It, no, it might have even been less than that. It might have even been less than that. Um, oh my gosh, anxious penguin. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the kind words. Um, hold on, before we show Jonathan, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go show the apartment first. We're gonna go to the apartment, and then we'll then we'll bring Jonathan in. Um, <laughs> because I uh, I love Jonathan so dearly. Definitely considered going by L when I started grad school. Um, didn't want to become L. That's actually super fair. Yeah, that's very fair, LD. I love. I, there's something about the name, like just sing, single letter names, is what really, for me, especially specifically with like L, that was like it felt right. <laughs> it felt right. Um, but we're gonna go see their apartment. That is just so bad. Although I think maybe the furniture might be gone because we might have sold. We might have taken all of our furniture. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember now. I don't remember now. It was here? No. No. Wait, where did we live? We lived over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. This apartment, I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, oh, man. No worries, Art. Thank you for hanging out, friend. I appreciate it. I do. Um... Also, anyone that sat through those ads, I really appreciate it. I really do. I'm just going over to the apartment that they lived in when they ran away from home as teens uh, to show you how bad it was because it was not good. Um, but the Road to Rainbow Challenge, FGG, is a 10-generation legacy challenge. Each generation, um, like, identi- or what is it, uh, like, showcases a different queer identity. Um, we're on Gen 3, which is the non-binary generation. Um but yeah, if you want to look at the rules and kind of get a better grasp for everything, uh, there's the link to it right there. Um, Z, named, pronounced Z. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that LD. Yeah, this was the apartment they first lived in. Um, as you can see, not the nicest. It's not great. The The fact that they're, they only have two chairs for their table and they're both facing the door. Um... This is their their kitchen again. Not great. We wa- I wanted to put like just a hot plate here, but we didn't really. We only have the one for hot pot, so we did just one of these, um, and just like not, uh, not good. Not a good place. Not a nice. Not a. Oh God, that's. Did we leave that nasty or was that always nasty? Oh no, that is just. Na- <laughs> oh no, we left. When we moved out, we left this here. We left this <laughs> above the toilet. We won uh, prom royalty. We did. We won prom royalty. <laughs> Something to remember. 
<laughs> of the toilet. It feels amazing. Thank you, Stanky. I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, a nice little surprise for the next sim that lives here. Uh, as you can see here, again, just lots of posters. Um, they had a bar. Why was it over the toilet? Because because <laughs> they were prom royalty, and that's the throne. That's the throne, you know. <laughs> uh, it's like boomer parents struggled. So why should my sim have it easier? Exactly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, generally just not a nice, this is where they all slept. Cause eventually we had Jonathan move in who I'll show you, Jonathan, Jonathan's Arca's current partner, current partner. Um, and they, all three of them lived here. Jonathan and Arca didn't even sleep in the same bed. They didn't even sleep in the same bed. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they had bunk beds. <laughs> And then L, L had this house, or this one here. Not a good, again, not the most lovely, uh, you know. Good luck with the teasing, Jonathan. True. True. They did not get their deposit back. No, they absolutely did not. Um, but yeah, as you can see, not the nicest place. The reception desk. When Jonathan moved in, they didn't even get a third, they didn't even get a third chair. They're like, it's fine. Fine. Don't worry about it um but yeah i i think what we're gonna do first i think i'm gonna show you my beloved his name is so out of place i love jonathan i love jonathan so much i'll show y'all jonathan and then we're gonna go back to our gen 2 sim who and i will we'll do a little bit of a story recap i think that sounds good i feel like that sounds sounds about right let's go oh wait no i need to go here i'll do it this way uh, but Jonathan and Arca have been dating for a little bit. Jo Arca's been kind of dating around, trying to find, like, you know, Arca's been just trying to find its love, trying to find someone to spend time with. Um, I believe Arca is, I want to say bi or pan, one of the two, one of the two. But this is Jonathan here. Jonathan uses they, them pronouns is trans mask. Trans mask, I believe, um, has and is really into cryptids. Is really into cryptids and has like in our mind because I can't really listen to Sims, but in our mind, Jonathan has like the cryptid podcast about the Strangerville mystery and is like they're really excited that they um they all moved to uh to Strangerville because now Jonathan's like on the ground on the ground like doing all our trans masks in the cryptid as a trans mask. I can confirm yes. Yes. Um, but Jonathan's a green fiend, uh, a bookworm, and a foodie. And just jet, like all around, an absolute delight. An absolute delight. Um, I believe, well, Jonathan actually might just be non binary. I don't know. I'll have to look into Jonathan's like identities and stuff because I have the mod that like has, we have labels for everything. Nice. Um, but yeah, this is Jonathan. I love Jonathan so dearly. So dearly. We met in high school. Kind of, like, started, you know, they started, like, talking a little bit. And I think upon learning that Arca was an alien, Jonathan was like, oh, yeah, baby. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Um, who would make PowerPoints on cryptids for fun. <gasps> Selkie, I love that. I love that so much. Um, also, Jonathan, Jonathan and Arca are um, poly. They're polyamorous. And so I think that there's we're going to have, like, a bit of a polycule vibe going on for this generation i don't know where the kid's gonna come from i don't know who's gonna like where the air is gonna come from it was it says trans uh and was given they them pronouns but i cannot remember for, i think you're right hades i think you're right they definitely would make a welcome to night veil ask podcast yes mickey absolutely thousand percent thousand percent um but yeah, I don't really know where our air is going to come from. I kind of think that we might just, like, pick up a random kid somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, some random, like, runaway kid. Uh, we might just, like, kind of adopt into the house. Um, but the three of them, I think, are going to live together probably entirely. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to have, like, Elle move out eventually. Like, I think that they're kind of just, like... They all kind of just, like, exist. I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be, like, any... They're all very, like, young and very, like, free-spirited, very, um... Just in general, like, uh... Yeah, like, free-spirited, I feel like is the best way to put it. Um, and so... <laughs> I think that right now they live in an old abandoned, like, fish factory. I think that I might turn into a bar. 
Like, I might do, like, a bar on one level and then, like, their living quarters on a different level. Eventually, like, once we get some more, uh, some more money. But, yeah, L I remember, is aromantic and I believe is into, like, feminine, uh, like, based sims. So, um, I think that L most likely is gonna have, like, you know, have, like, a little bit of a fuck buddy, but that's probably about it. Probably about it. Uh, are you taking applications? I also enjoy cryptids. I also enjoy cryptids. But... I'm going to show you our Gen 2 Sims, and we're going to talk about a little bit of the story of where we left off. So, this here, do we still have kids in here? Oh my god, I forgot Carly and Sonya still live here? <gasps> oh my god, uh, wait a minute. Carly and Sonya still live here. I should move them out at some point. Maybe they'll stay here. Maybe they can stay here. Carly, I'll cry, I'll cry. Um, but yeah, so Langston and Gerard, these are our Gen 2 Sims. Um, Langston was our Gen 2 heir. And Gerard was Langston's childhood best friend, who was a trans man. Langston was like, they were like really good friends. And Langston was like, oh my god, I'm gay. Like, had like, you know, a little gay awakening as a kid. And then Gerard was like, this is so wild. I'm also gay. Hey, I'm also trans. We could be gay together. And it worked out. I think they ended up... Their first kiss, oh, was it when Leslie was getting, it might've been when our Gen 1 Sim was getting married. I think maybe we had a, oh, we were in Mount Kamarebi. I remember that is when they had their first kiss. And then they kind of didn't like really chat about it other than that. Um, but I'll give you a little, a little tour of our kid. Uh, <laughs> look at all of them. <laughs> oh, I love them. But yeah, this is Langston. Langston is panromantic, pansexual. Um, has a lot of other things, uh, and kind of lived life in between jobs, didn't really do much, was a fisherman for a while, I believe maybe is still a fisherman, yes, back to fishing, um, for a while, um, for a while, Langston was, like, a gym teacher, and then was, like, a fisherman, and then a gym teacher, and then, like, a fisherman again, it was a barista for a little bit, Langston kind of has been all over the place, um, in terms of everything. And then now also is like really into yoga. <laughs> really loves yoga. Um, uh, best friend, surprise, I'm trans. Lovers are so real. Oh god, I love it. I love it. I'm Gerard. <laughs> you can have all the MCR references you want. The Hawaiian shirt to Lynx and Ivy Pipeline is true. This man is I is he still really muscular? He's still pretty muscular. He is, this is, if I've ever seen a daddy in my life, it's this. It's this. Oh, Langston is one of my finest works. My Gen 1 Sim, and his dad is Jules Rico. If y'all um, are familiar with the NPC, uh, Jules Rico is our, uh, is his dad. Oh yeah, he's still just as ripped. <laughs> oh man, and they, they made a fine baby. But Langston and Gerard, uh, here's Gerard here. Gerard is an art teacher at the local local school. Um, I think he's actually an art professor now. Are you pregnant? No, uh... Oh, um, a You're not gonna have a child. What? How do you have a child? How do you have a kid? Hold on, chat. Wait, huh? Gerard should not be able to have children right now. Oh my God, is it an alien baby? Oh, oh my god, maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyway, Gerard is a trans man. Did never had bottom surgery. Um, did have top surgery, went through like voice and hormone therapy, all of the above. Unwanted pregnancy. Oh my god, in your are you not? Um, 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 uh, 
They're going to have a child. They're going to have a baby. They're going to have a baby. How? Didn't you? Don't I? Do I? You're, you're literally, it says infertile. It says infertile. It, you should not be able to have a child. Um... Chad, what do we do? We steal the baby and that's Gen 4. We could see. It's a Christmas miracle! How do I do this? How do I do this? What do we... I think that's him. Oh my goodness. What do we do with this chat? Chat, we have to. Okay, I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to run a poll. Do we keep the chat or do I yeet us the fetus? <laughs> um, uh, what do? Yeet us the fetus. Um, keep. Miracle baby. Three minutes. You can vote in that poll. Have Arca adopt. Oh, you're right. You're right. Or you're right. Um, shit. I don't know if I can end this poll. Hold on. I'm ending this poll. Sorry. We're doing it again. Flash poll. Um, what do? Uh, Yetus, the fetus. Keep the miracle. Baby, Arca adopts it. Okay, vote in the vote in part part two. <laughs> take two, take two. Um, <laughs> queer Jesus. This is the end. Um, I know I said Yetus fetus, but I love this is drama. This is drama. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Hear me out. This is kind of really sad and maybe a little bit tragic it's absolutely tragic but i mean they're both adults so what if they just maybe they die a little early and the kid like no one knows what to do with this child and so arca takes a child that's like my thought yes oh my god monica so G gerald gerard Ger why do i call him Ger gerard Gerard is pregnant. We came into the house. I was like, oh yeah, here's Gerard. Like, here's our parents and stuff. And Gerard is pregnant, but is also infertile. I don't really know what happened there. I don't really know what happened. Um, we're getting pregnant. Maybe I am. It might be a little bit. Like, we might wait till the kid is like a toddler or something. Like, we might wait a bit and see. Um, but that, that, I think if we decide to have Arca adopt, I think that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. But yeah, anyways, here's Gerard. Here's Gerard. Gerard, trans man, um, is family-oriented, a geek, and adventurous. Adventurous. I'm going to also change probably Arca's... I don't want Arca... Or no, I don't want Gerard to have like a festering grudge against the baby coming out. So I'm going to change to make that Gerard is like indifferent to having a baby, I think. Well, if it isn't the consequences of your own actions... <laughs> Drama. But yeah, this is uh this is Gerard. I love Gerard so dearly. So dearly. Um just what a, a handsome little fella. What a handsome little fella. Uses he they pronouns also. Um but Gerard and Langston when they were younger, they didn't really know if they wanted kids. Um and they both had really really good upbringings in terms of they had a lot of really good support from their parents in terms of um like when they came out, they had really really supportive homes and so they wanted to do that. For a bunch of queer children as well, for those that didn't have necessarily super supportive homes. And so they did, they adopted a lot of kids. Um, and we have, so, uh, Carly and Sonia. These two, they decided to end up keeping Carly and Sonia. Um, who, they're bo now both young adults, I think, at this point. Um, but a lot of our kids moved out. We ended up adopting them out to people. Because we have the uh, Little Miss, is it Little Miss Sam, I believe? Uh, Little Miss Sam's a foster family mod foster family mod um and i'll show you so this is carly they ended up uh keeping carly and sonia and then they decided to have arca biologically 
Um, Because they were like, what if we tried having a kid our own and see how, like, you know, what if we did that? So Arca is biologically Langston and Gerard's children. All the other kids have been adopted. Um, The aliens that sent Arca are like, hey, you haven't taken over the planet. What the fuck? So they kill its parents. And Arca's like, what the fuck do you mean? Who are you people? And so it takes in the sibling. And John is like, hey, there's reports of this weirdo with Santa. Oh, my God. Wait, yes. (gasps) Okay, we're going to adopt it. The poll. Arca's adopting this baby, which is what a little interesting thing. What a little interesting thing. Um, yeah, we're going to have to keep our fingers crossed, though, because the lot. So they had a biological child. Um, and. Something happened within the Sims genetics. I don't know what. I don't know what. Um, I'll have to show you. I'll have to show you family as well. Let me, let me go here. We'll come back to Carly and Sonia in a second. I love them. Tell us the mystery of where Gen 4 comes from. Uh, so there's actually, in my world, in this save specifically, there are two Arcas that exist. There are two. There is one that is an alien and one that is a human. Um, so when Arca was born, really adorable toddler, really, like, fantastic baby, adorable toddler. Um, turns out Arca ages up to a kid. Something happens. Um, and by something happens, I mean something in the Sims genetics for some reason, or like the, the rigging points on like the face, you know, when you put glasses on your Sim, they'll like sit, they like, they're like anchored to a point on the face and they like sit sometimes a little bit further away from the nose. Um, that was not the case with the Sim. Um, I don't even know where Santa lives um the rigging points for glasses on our sim were so far back into the face all of the glasses that i would put on the sim would be like inside oh my god l's parents had a kid oh <gasps> l's parents had a kid they're like well our son's gone we're gonna have another kid yeah so like basically a lot of the like the point like i spent no joke hours <laughs> i spent hours trying to fix the rigging on the sim's face like very slowly i was trying to like i was trying to i was trying to fix the the rigging on this face um i also might change well we might change things back so as you can see very like flat face which was like totally fine i was like that's totally okay for me um but i'll show you uh, what I mean. And these are in-game glasses. These are in-game glasses. Um. So. Th- th- this. Um, and I was like. Oh, something is severely wrong with this sim and I cannot figure out what. Um, I can't. <laughs> I can't figure out what. So, <laughs> I spent hours, hours tweaking like the nose. Like the only way that the nose genuinely, that glasses wouldn't do this is if I did this with the nose. This was the only way to get them to work. I don't understand what happened in the genetic process here. I don't know what happened. Um, so obviously I said, I put, <laughs> this was like in the middle of the night. I, I wrote in our discord and I was like, Hey, Hey, chat room. Um, There's this problem. I can't fix this. Because I was like, I ended up streaming and I was like, I'm going to try and fix this. I'm going to work on this. It's going to be fine. Um, I can't fix this. What should we do? Should I make a clone of the Sim and just like have him as a human? Or add a little bit of plot and say, um, yeah, I tried randomizing some areas of the face. Nothing worked. It was, it was so weird. So weird. Um, I said, or we can have a little bit of plot and we say that, Hey, aliens came and replaced that child with an alien. And we're like, your job here is to like take over the world sort of thing. And then Arca ended up not doing that. Cause Arca was like, I'm just going to live my life. <laughs> I'm just going to live my life sort of deal. Um, and then did that. <laughs> um, so that's why Ark is an alien is because we basically what I did was I made a I made a cologne. I took a bunch of screenshots 
um, of what, like, I made, like, as, as close to a clone of Ark as I could, and then I made an alien out of that sim. <laughs> and it was, it was definitely something. Uh, I don't know, I guess, should we adopt that baby too? Maybe. Hmm? Ark is an alien because it wouldn't <laughs> wear glasses. Literally exactly because it wouldn't wear glasses, and I wanted my sim to have glasses because I like putting glasses on my sims. Um... Uh, but I'll, I'll introduce you to Arca's. These are Arca's siblings. Oh. Um, this is Carly. Carly, I believe it's gender fluid, uses they, them pronouns, um, and is stunning. Like, stunning. Stunning. I love Carly with all of my entire being. Raise them as twins. <gasps> Wait, that could be really fun. That could be really fun. Um, Carly is like an influencer. Um, very much is into, like, Social Bunny. Did a lot of, like, thrifting outfits and stuff like that. Um, and I love them so much. So much. Do I have other outfits on here? Oh, we do. We have this one as well. Um, although you don't have your hair. I'll have to fix the hair at some point. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is Carly. Love Carly Let me so see much. what you have! Leo! No! 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 For Road to Rainbow. Leo, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, this is Carly. I love a lot of Carly's outfits. And this is Sonia. Sonia is a trans woman. A tra I think a trans woman lesbian, perhaps? Or maybe bi. Um, but this is Sonia. Sonia, I love so dearly. So, so dearly. Uh, currently, I believe, is going to university. Potentially going to university um, is incredibly smart, incredibly smart, an absolute genius, if you will. Um, and oh yeah, I think Sonya's a lesbian. I gave the earrings to a lot of the Sims that I that are lesbians. I give them the, these earrings because I think they're so cute. Trans from a romantic lesbian, if I remember correctly. I think you're right, Hades. Um, but yeah, this is Sonya. I love Sonya so much, so so much. I love I love these Sims. I love these Sims so dearly. Um, and it's just like, oh, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Eventually I might move them out and move them in with like partners and stuff like that. So they can kind of live out their life. But yes, now, 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 um, oh yeah, there's a uh, Langston's half. These are also, they're part of our family as well. Um, they're part of our family as well. I forgot. Why are you ginger? I'm not gonna ask questions. Um, this challenge it's so fun i have been having a lot of fun with this challenge um i hit a bit of a wall with it like creatively about mid gen 3 because i was like oh, for a while i was only streaming this game <laughs> i was only streaming this game so um for a while i was like or streaming like this specific challenge uh so i hit a wall with it but i've been definitely feeling a lot more inspired again i'm very excited to keep going absolutely gorgeous thank you thank you i appreciate that i love I love my Sims so dearly. So, so dearly. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. We're hanging out. Um, and we're going to work on our thing. In terms of story like storyline where we were at, I'm either ginger. Well, everyone in, the, everyone in that family has like dark hair, which I guess it's a recessive gene. It makes sense. But I just, I was like, I don't remember. I guess I do remember there being a ginger in that family. I guess so. Um, <laughs> but storyline wise, we just finally saved up enough money to move into this abandoned, uh, kind of like factory that they want to fix up for sure. Uh, they have a lot of just like, you know, junk and things around the back. Uh, eventually they want to fix it up and turn it into a, I, we were thinking either a record store or like a bar. Um, but the first floor they want to turn into like a bar or a record store. And then the second floor, plus like a few little, um, additions here and there, I think they want to like turn into a, um, turn it into, uh, like their living quarters, which I think we'll probably end up living here for most of this generation, if not all of it. I really like it. I think it's really fun. Um, I think it's really fun. So... I'm making my boyfriend a photo album for Christmas, and I just realized some of the pages in the book were stuck together. I'm, like, over 100 photos in. <gasps> oh, my God, no. Godspeed, gamer. Godspeed. Uh, yeah, very just, like, 
also pretty run down. It is a little bit nicer. It's a little bit nicer than where they were living their apartment was. It's nicer than <laughs> where they were at there. Um, they still have their nice little table here, but they also have the froggy chair. Um, <laughs> the, the frog, they finally got a third chair. Um, a really like old, uh, really old little couch here that's up on pallets because, you know, there's no legs on it. Uh, there is, Miss Madeline, there is. Here is the link for it there, which actually I should also pull that up for myself. Um, so that I can have, uh, get a little peek on there. Thank you. Of course, of course. Um, very, very fun. I've been really enjoying it so far. Okay. Gen 3. So, we need to work on our aspiration. Where are we at with this? Are we only on the first? Oh, we're literally on. Play an instrument for an hour while inspired. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, we have our club, too. I might disband this club a little bit, or I might change some people around in here. Um, John yeah, this one's Jonathan's. Exactly. Jonathan brought their, <laughs> brought their own chair. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for the self-care check, Mangoes. I appreciate that. Reminder chat room to drink some water, eat some food, get up, stretch, walk around, um, take meds if you have meds to take. Um, all that stuff. Has a room dedicated in their house. I'm looking at the rules now. So we have to finish musical genius, um, finish the entertainer career in the musician branch. Um, as well as the frog collection. And then fully level the... It says violin mischief, but we've been very much... Um, I think we, we decided on piano uh, rather than um, violin because it fit our storyline a little bit more. Um, so we've been working on violin. No worries at all, Gregor. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I really do. I hope you have a good rest of your night, my friend. Jonathan Throne is the froggy chair. bro. It's true, it's true. Um, there's an ad playing. So before I give the last story recap, um, I will... Uh, I'm going to wait for that to play out. But yeah, I'll give you a little tour of their house for right now. So this is their um, <laughs> their kitchen. It's, it's... It exists. It's there. It works. It works. Eventually, I think we will give a nice little... Uh, what is it? A, a nice little um, makeover to this house. I think once we get to like... Maybe 20 or like 50,000 simoleons. I think we'll have, um, we'll do a nice like remodel of this house uh, and properly make it quite nice. I don't know. I think it'd be really good. Lo the little crusty microwave. <laughs> it is, it is something. It is something. We have a little kitchen here. This is the dining table <laughs> we have. Um, not even a TV, no TV here, just a couch on some pallets. Couch on some pallets, please check. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, Dan, that's fine. You can just use your card. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um. But yeah, so we have like a little rundown couch area here. Um, we've got this bathroom where there's just two showers. <laughs> There's just two showers, um, as well as we have a little toilet area there. This is L's room here. L has his own little space at this point now. Um, still got the punching bag and whatnot. And it's you know it's still not the best condition of a place, but it's definitely better. Definitely better. And then this is where Jonathan and Arca sleep. They finally have a room to their own. I actually moved originally. We had the bed and stuff here, um, but I moved it all the way over here. Happy holidays, my noni. How are you? Welcome in, friend. And then they have a little balcony area here. I also thought this was really funny. This arc is an alien, but they have a door that says no aliens allowed. <laughs> but I thought it was very silly. I was like, they would absolutely do that. Um, and then they have a rooftop. Air they have access to the rooftop. They haven't used it yet. Um, but I think eventually I want to do some things up here. And I definitely have some, I have some really good ideas for how this is going to like kind of turn out in the end. I, my brain has been working a little bit and I definitely have some, uh, some ideas. I think eventually I might build out like a proper trailer area for L, um, and do like uh, a little tiny house back here for L. Um, it's, it's possible. It's possible. If for some reason I feel like I can't complete what I want, 
uh, with this space. We might move to like a bigger lot, but I think that this could be, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential for this lot. Ooh, a rooftop bar, ground floor record store. Oh, <gasps> oh my God, a rooftop. Oh, I would love that. I would love that because definitely I feel like, I feel like they would like to throw parties a lot. I think they would definitely like to throw some parties. Um, get a menorah for work to come. Oh, could be with the Christmas trees. That's so exciting. Yeah. Happy early Hanukkah for everyone then. But yeah, I feel like this will be really nice. I'm, I'm personally very excited. Uh, also, their mailbox is back here because I didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> didn't know where else to put it. Um, I like that idea, Lacey. I like that idea a lot. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Um, but yeah, you know, don't have much. We only have $800. We only have $800. What are you? Are you at work right now? You are. Oh, you're going to get... Okay, so Elle's getting a promotion today. We have to achieve level two of the comedy skill. Which can you go do here? Can you practice like your, uh, oh, I think you need a mic. Oh, I don't think we have a mic. Um, can you kick Jonathan off so you can write jokes? Jonathan, my love, can you come here? Oh my God, wait, I forgot to tell you all the story. And then we're gonna actually get into this. This is literally taking us like 30 minutes of a recap, but it's fine. It's fine, this is good for everyone. <laughs> Myself included. Um, the story though, is that we just, um, we just got, so they ran away when they were teens because Langston, um, and Arca got in a little bit of an argument because Arca kept bringing over Jonathan because they were like high school sweethearts. Um, <laughs> they, um, uh, they were high school sweethearts in our girl, like, just, like, was feeling a little, was, like, rebel very rebellious as a teen. And even though, like, Langston and Gerard, um, and, like, everyone in the house, they were all, like, very supportive of Arca. Arca felt, like, you know, the odd one out. Because, I mean, Arca's literally an alien. Literally an alien. And so, always just, like, kind of felt like the odd one out. And even though everyone in that house is literally queer in some way, uh, they're, like, they're not going to accept me. They're not going to accept me for being non-binary. And, um... You know, got, in, got into a bit of an argument with Langston, a very heated argument, and then Arca just left. Arca was like, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Um, and so packed up literally nothing, I don't think, and left. Like, said goodbye to its siblings and then was gone. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we, they kind of, they moved into the apartment. They tried busking for a while for some money and it worked for a bit, but they had dropped out of high school too. Um, yeah, left during, I think, Winterfest. Left during Winterfest. Um, yeah, moved into the city, d were, like, really struggling for a while, trying to make money in any way, because they weren't able to get into careers properly as teens, um, because even if, if you drop out of school, you can't, like, enter a career that are meant for adults yet, you can only do, like, the part-time ones, so, um, they were like, we're gonna focus on our music and everything, <laughs> And it didn't really, you know, it kind of, it kind of worked. It was like fine, but, um, all right, Jonathan, my beloved, I'm going to do right jokes because we don't have a mic right now and I don't really want to spend money on a mic if I don't have to. We got promoted. Oh, I'm so proud of you, L. am so proud of you. You're so mad though. Can you please go blow off some steam? What did that say? Oh yeah. It literally says blow off some steam. Okay. I thought there was like too many words. Um, and then you, so you're getting level two, which is fine. Um, uh, my game, I love doing really in-depth storylines. Sometimes they do get a little like convoluted, I guess. Oh, entrepreneur skill. How is that going to be best for you? What can we do with that? Side hustles, odd jobs. I don't know if you could do an odd job right now. What are you good at? Do you enjoy... Oh, yeah, okay. Jonathan's trans and pan. That's what it is. Um, oh, you're really good at... Oh, let's get, a, let's get an easel for you. Let's get an easel for Jonathan, I think. We did... So, if I remember correctly, the last um, episode we did of this, Jonathan, for... What is it? For the new year. For New Year's in game. We went out, we went out to a club. We went out to a club. Uh, and who happened to be there other than our parents? Arca's parents were there. Langston and Gerard were there. And we didn't, like, plan this. 
Um, we were at the bar, like sitting at the bar, and then they like walked in behind us, and I was like, "Oh, my-. I literally was losing my shit." If you could believe it. Uh, and they had a bit of a conversation, and they definitely like have made up a little bit. I don't think that Arca is still necessarily comfortable telling them um about its identity, uh, you know, in terms of being non-binary and stuff. I think they know that Arca is. Um, I think they know that Arca's like pan, but I don't believe they know Arca's bi or that Arca's non-binary. Um, and so that's like the big thing I think for Arca is like, ooh, like I don't. Um, I feel like you would be into like. I feel like sur- like surrealism makes the most sense for you. So go do some media. Um. Yeah, so they like patch it up a little bit. A little bit. And I think that we're going to be kind of, like, talking to them now. I don't think we necessarily have... Um... Why do you have a glass of water on you? Put in there. Um... I don't think... We ha- We might still have... Uh, where's... I was like, where's the relationship panel? Yeah, so we're actually doing pretty good with our relationship with Langston. Happy childhood. We don't have any sentiments right now. So I think that we apologized and got um some of the sentiments kind of, like, out of the way. Uh, we also, we are not friends with our uncle. <laughs> I don't know why. What happened with Marco? Um, it's very completely understandable. I'm, yeah, exactly. Definitely very valid. Um, yeah, I think that we're still friends with most of, oh, what about Gerard? Do you have any sentiments with Gerard? No, you're good. Yeah, everything, we're kind of okay. Kind of put a lot of the, the bad blood aside. Um, and so Marco Polo, <laughs> Marco Polo is true. The surprise child. Yes, Marco, um, is our Gen 2 Sims sibling, which they weren't, they were supposed to be the, an only child. Um, but Langston ended up having Marco as a sibling because Jules had like a surprise kid. Um, it was, it was an interesting thing. It was an interesting little experiment, you know, uh, myself, it was very good. It was very good. Also, before we properly, properly get into this, if anybody is interested in watching everything that we've done before now, like beforehand, I know I give like a nice in-depth kind of lore drop, but if you want to watch it, I do have almost all the episodes are up on YouTube. Um, and you can kind of go and you can see the, the evolution of the storyline, um, as well as like, uh, what is it, with Gen 1 as well, because I didn't really get into Gen 1 storyline too much, but... Um, if you are interested, but <laughs> um, did you? Okay, can you sell that? Really, browser? Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Mango. I really appreciate that. That means a whole lot to me. It means a whole lot to me. I try my best to uh. Yeah, are you? Did you get fame from that? All right, what did that do for entrepreneurship? Okay, we're almost at level two, so let's do a little... Let's do another surreal... I feel like surrealism makes the most sense for Jonathan. Um, I think that makes the most sense. Arca, are you good at... Wait, Elle, are you good at painting? Which one are you as good at... Or cooking, I mean. Oh, no, you're not good at cooking. You have a mildly unrefined palate. Oh, are you good at cooking? No. Um... Wait, what's spoiled in here? Oh, we have so much food in here. Never mind. Oh, we're fine. Oh, the Franken beans is spoiled. Not the Franken beans. Um, of course, Chai. Of course. Um, uh, so it's dinner time. Yes, dinner time for you. Uh, and it's six p.m. When do you go to? Okay, you're working. Oh, three days. Three days. Gorsoi. Oh, I need you to get a guitar. Guitar or violin? We don't have one of those, I don't think. Uh, and the, do we have a guitar in any of your inventories? No. Oh, you have your digital sketch pad. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's just, like, chat for a while. You're mostly exhausted. Oh, you need to go to the bathroom. Go do that. Uh, puppy on my lap, and she's... R- Oh my goodness, bubonic kitten, what is your puppy's name? Uh, I would love to know. I would love to know. I There's something about people's pets watching me. 
That brings me so much joy. I think Frederick Kyle is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? I don't know who that is, Amina. Is Amina one of the kids that we had at some point? Um, I don't know. You should think about it yourself. I don't think Elle would give you a... Hazel, oh, what a sweet name. I love that so much. So much. The one thing that I'm nervous about for Gen 3 is doing the frog... Frogs. Frog time. Um, his name being a little shit. Classic. Classic. Streams too, they're so silly. Oh my gosh, she's gonna make, break my little heart in like the best way. I love that. What is this? Oh, look at you. Where are you at here? Um, oh yeah, Jonathan, as you can see, Jonathan and Arca have very, uh, they are, uh, soulmates. <laughs> soulmates. They have, uh, they're also crushing on each other, which I think is really cute. Um, oh my gosh, bro, that sounds so good. Uh, I want some, please, and thank you. Simzy's voice means cuddle time, so she's not all... Wait, that's really cute. That's really cute. Can you go take a little nap right now? You are tired. Let's sell that. Um, and get, hopefully, yes, on, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, you work in two hours. Oh, and Bestie, you're so tired. Can you go nap? Why don't you go nap? Oh, can you not sit here? To move those. Um, maybe work from home? Let's work from home. That'll be a little bit easier for Jonathan to handle. I thought they could walk through that, but I might need to move. Um, uh, thing his name is Hermes after the god of <gasps> trying to steal a breadstick from my brother. Hermes, that's such a I love that. That's a that's a good cat name. I like that a lot. I'm personally a big fan. Cross promote at a venue. Travel travel to a non residential venue and then cross promote using the phone's business app. Is that all I have to do? Oh, that seems really easy. That seems really easy. Frank back on the playlist. I was, I realized I was in a Frank mood today. I was like, I'm in a Frank mood. I want a little bit of Frank Ocean right now. So I put some Frank on the playlist before, uh, before stream. It's the soy maze for little <gasps> oh soy God, boy, 16. little liberal soy boys. Soy little little communist, communist soy, soy boy. boy. Tell me, what even is time? What is daddy time? Garf, daddy Garf, a daddy Garf. Daddy Garf, so true. So true. I don't know where we're going to go. Maybe over here. We can go. Let's go to this boba tea place. Let's go here. Um, and let's invite over Jonathan. Red pasta sauce and mariner are the same thing. And it just admitted today that it isn't. <gasps> They've been trying to gaslight you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um Pennington went for Locke. That's very fair. I love Locke Lamore. I love his name. Love his name. Uh, but Bridget, thank you for the 16 months. I really appreciate it. I have some fresh Frank songs. Hold on. I forgot which ones are popular and which ones aren't. That's fair. That's fair. My favorite Frank Ocean song is Swim Good. It is one of the best songs in existence. I'm playing it. I'm playing it. I'm, put, I'm putting it on the queue. I'm putting it on the queue. Swim Good is one of the best Frank Ocean songs to exist in this entire world. It's so good. The original, though? Wait. There's a cover I love, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me find... I have some good on here. I'm put... I'm, I'm, I'm queuing it up. You know, I'm just gonna play it. I'm just gonna play it. I'm just gonna go for it. Best Frank Ocean song ever. Chef's Kiss, baby! They just taste a little different, and I prefer marinara. That's so... They don't even just taste different. Like, they're just... Di aren't they just different sauces entirely? All right, I'm going to go to this boba. It's boba time. If I think, is there somebody that's going to run the boba shop? Because I think that would make sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a boat. You're a boba tea customer. Well, either way, can we cross promote? Um, Cross promote at venue. Are you okay? Why are you so, why are you, you sweating? That's literally all I had to do. Oh my, wait, I feel like, okay, maybe they'll go thrifting. Let's create a fashion look. Let's go thrifting. Um, pick up the disguise. That's, Lacey, that's what we did. We had a Halloween, like, birthday party, I think, one, day, one year for someone. 
Um, and Arca was just an alien. <laughs> I think we have photos of Jonathan and Arca. Um, of <laughs> Jonathan and Arca. And it's really funny. Bad Religion on Orange. I'm a big fan of Bad Religion as well. It's very good. This is from the gallery. Um, this is from the gallery. I don't remember who this is from. This specific lot. Um, but... This one specifically is from the gallery. I think I want to do a look with this. <gasps> or should we do this like frog one? What's feeling Arca to me? This one's also pretty good. I feel like the frog one's kind of Arca vibe. I want to just, I don't necessarily want to like sell whatever it is. I just want to make something for Arca to wear. Um, Another little outfit. Oh my god, wait, these green pants are actually really fun. I kind of want to incorporate these pants into something. I don't know what, but... Maybe there's something in here? Hmm. I feel like... Something like this could also work. I don't know if I'm gonna get the light, like kind of more neon colors that I would want. What an interesting. Um, sometimes I wish you could use CC. <laughs> sometimes I wish you could use CC on these. It's very frustrating that you can't. At least I haven't figured out how to make it work, but that could be a me thing. Hmm. I heard of this original, my brain exploded. My friend was a really big Indiana fan. Uh, and then he sent my other friend up to go to a train museum. It's a whole story. I hate gay men slash J. Oh my God, Manifest of Modern CC is added. It'd just be so nice. I guess maybe we could just do something like this. Something a little simple. With the Machis, I do, I do stanky. Um, I have both a, um, a Tumblr blog that I use to like reblog more specific items. Um, and then I have a master document that it is a little bit out of date. I need to go through and give it a, a bit of a refresh. That has a lot of my gameplay mods as well as a lot of my favorite creators. Cause I do just tend to use around the same, same few creators um, for my mods or for like my build CC specifically too. Um, so I have some of those creators linked there. I feel like one of those could work quite well, but. Ooh, maybe one of these. Ooh, I'm actually kind of loving those shoes. Pop. Same thing. Yes, of course. Of course, of course. Um, oh, I have to give it a look. I just always just, ah, uh, this is Groove Wave. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to do a little thrifting. I don't know. Why not? Why not? A little stretch. I'm achy and don't want to finish my work. Honestly, it's very fair though. <laughs> very fair. Let's get some uh, boba. Let's order some boba. Oh my gosh, I had a strawberry, I had strawberry milk tea boba yesterday, and it was so good. So good. But I'm gonna get Arca a taro milk tea. Seem like a taro milk tea kind of. Kinda lad. I'm also a tarot milk tea kind of lad, if I'm honest. Well, corn dog. Do you need food? You're not that hungry. I think that's fine. We'll order a drink. Let's do ooh, a mango milk tea with boba. It's so good. Sometimes tantrums are necessary. Yeah, sometimes I need to just like have a tantrum and like give me myself like five five seconds, five minutes. And then I'm like fine. Uh, and then I'm fine. What is this? August Ito. Ooh. I'm like I'm like always worried that I'm gonna like meet someone that we know. Osmanthus wine tastes the Emo. same as I Expel remember. the emotion, exactly. But where are those oh, who me. share the memory? Oh my god, look at this look. I wonder if we'll see people wearing Carly's look. <gasps> Cause I forgot Carly made a bunch of like fashion looks. Fashion enthusiasts. I feel like this looks like something Carly made. If I'm being honest. That looks like something Carly made. I don't remember all of the fashion looks we have, though. 
Not Arca <laughs> choking on. <laughs> All right, let's do some social bunny stuff. You're slaying, slay. With that audio clip, it's so funny. It's so funny. Um, YouTube, Twitch. I have been doing it for about two years. I had my two year stream anniversary. Um, when was it? Oh, am I not even on social bunny? I guess not. Are you? Oh, I got them all off social bunny because I was getting mad at it. Um, but we'll do this. We'll add to our Simstagram story. Um, but I've been doing it for about two years. Two years. Before that, uh, I started doing it because of the pandemic. Um, but before that, I worked in film. Are you going to the bathroom? What are you doing? Are you... But throw that away like a proper... I was going to call it like a proper human being. But I guess you're literally an alien, so... I can uh, I like this basket you have going on there, Eliana. Bye. Um, don't mind seeing it other people's games. Ooh. Oh, here we go. That's where we're getting all of our followers from, is from that. Um, Paul Moran loves the pro I love Jonathan so dearly. I just think that, like, oh, they're just so fun. I love this little, like, I love this little found family that we have so much. If I don't know if you know us, but I am a big, bit of a fan of found family trope. I think it's really, I love it. It's in, like, almost all my favorite media. <laughs> found family trope, somewhere in there. <laughs> um... People, hello, hi day, little people. Why are you calling me a little people boy? What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? That's so mean. So mean of you. Hi day, how are you? All right, Arca, you need to go to the bathroom before you pee yourself, please. And then you can go sleep, and you can go sleep. And then honestly, you can also go sleep. Everyone's just tired, so I just want to have everyone go to bed. Um. Oh, a bit of a farmer boy, eh? Hey, farmer boy, yeehaw. Yeehaw. Are you going up to sleep? There you are. Um. I definitely want to, like... I'm very excited for our Sims to, um... Get more money, because I'm excited to renovate this place and, like, fully flesh out my vision that I have. Very excited. By the way, I do have a headache. I'm sending you all of the good vibes, my friend. All of the good vibes. Um, okay. Good morning. It's imagine being up at 6 30 in the morning. I could literally could not be me. Um, go get some scrambled eggs with bacon. We'll work on that. Um and then like, I love this little, like, factory thing that we've got going on. I'm just excited for them to, be, like, live in a proper house at some point. I think it's good. I'm very, ex very excited. I'm very excited. I might actually test out. Um, I might put this, like, on the, uh, in my library and then test out some renovation ideas that I have. Um, I might do that at some point. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I'll do that tonight. We should also go through and see what kind of, I love taking photos. Uh, fun fact about me. Why do you have a trash pile in your inventory? Oh, we don't have a trash can, do we? Oh my god, we don't have a trash can. Oh, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Let me put a trash can in this house. Clean Alpha of the Wild Thing so I can build a normal house for him. Um, and the pink gen to live in. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Um, electronics. No. What? Appliances. I think I'll just do some outdoor trash can. I think that's what we'll do for at least for right now. Um, I'll put one like here. I think that works. Uh, of which mailbox is it? Every time they get the mail, yes, they go out here because I think that they just like were like. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we went to high school with that person. <laughs> I think we went to high school with that person. Um, <laughs> I feel like because they were just like, um, they couldn't find like a proper mailbox, so they just found all these like mail. They just keep adding mailboxes to here. Been playing Minecraft. Honestly, not bad. Not bad. Although technically, they get the mail here because I those don't count as mailboxes, which I think is rude. I think these should count as mailboxes. But, 
Oleander and Lotus having to walk 10 miles to the woods every morning to get to high school? Oh my god, yes. Yes. Uh, cute little uh, community living lot for the Wild Fangs, but it's become more annoying than anything. I just want them to have a nice house for themselves. I think that's fair. I think that's very fair. Um, Let's do this. All right, what do you need to work on for your... Um, oh, you just need to practice jokes slash write music. Um, we'll do, we'll just practice your jokes here. Or write your jokes, I mean. Oh, you have to practice music. Go practice on your drum set at seven in the morning. Fine. Fine. Um, also this one, I don't, I have to see who, where this, uh, mods member. I really wanted Elle to play the drums. It was the most, it was, I was like, I really want Elle to play the drums. Are you, okay, you know, you're fine. You just need to go to the bathroom. Feeling flirty though. Why are you so flirty? Oh, from your crush, waking up next to your crush. There. Um, I like couldn't see Elle doing anything else. Like maybe the guitar a little bit, but I was like, I really wanted Elle to play the drums. So I found this drum, I found the CC drum kit and I was like, I need it. I need it. And honestly, it was very worth it. Very worth it. Um, okay. What do we have going on here? You don't think you need to do anything else. Um... Uh, a werewolf marry a spellcaster and I'm still very Ooh, I do like that. I do like that idea. It's fun. That's so fun. Why are you upset? Oh, you're sore from working out. That's probably from yesterday. That's fine. Um, they can actually play them. Yes. I believe it's from it might say in the uh in the kit. Um It's by it's con it was from Sims 3 converted by Sepzid. I'll put it in chat. Um, that was the person that converted it. It's really expensive. A lot of our money, I think most of our money went to buying this drum kit. <laughs> it went to buying the drum kit. <laughs> um, which I think is really silly, but also feels very on brand for them, you know? Um, why don't you just go to the bathroom and then you can go get some leftovers as well. Garden salad. Maybe we'll go visit Langston today. Do I, does anyone, I don't think anyone works today. I think they all have off. So maybe we'll go visit Langston. Oh, we could have, oh, we could have a little housewarming party. That could be really fun. That could be really fun. Um, yeah, I honestly, the animations and there's like different drum songs and stuff too, like different like songs they'll play. Um, honestly, it's really great. I really like it a lot. When they get into the drum set a little bit, they kind of like do the like, like a slow move into position, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I feel like, um, definitely a big fan. Why are you feeling tense, baby? Oh, from badly played music. Well, go, you could go do a little surrealism. Let's do that. Surrealism. Um, oh wait, what if you paint from reference? Do a little small paint from reference. Couple of bucks of the housewarming gift. Ooh, could potentially do that. Potentially do that. I try not to. In terms of like, um, oh yes, I wanted to do this. This was like the vibe I wanted to do. I feel like this is. Oh wait, this is really cute. Oh wait, can I get? I I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Uh, L though. Cry about it. Cope exactly. <laughs> Imagine Jonathan being like, I really don't like the type of music they play. Not really my vibe. Level two of comedy skill. Oh, did we not get that yesterday? I thought we did. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll have a little housewarming gift or housewarming party. Um, I think that could be really fun. I think that could be really fun. Oh, wait, this is actually really cute. I really like this. Oh, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Um, But yeah, in terms of like, I tend not to be too, too strict about like, and roles like if something works and for like gameplay because for me the biggest thing for this is just to like make sure that i'm enjoying my gameplay um and enjoying the stories that i'm telling and so sometimes we're like a little lenient like when we stole money from his parents i was like it's fine because they need to they need to move in somewhere um serena's calling you why are you why is everybody asking l this it feels very weird that everyone's calling l and being like should we make this big like should we make this big life decision? Like, do you think L L literally is gonna be like, no, decide for yourself. 
Whatever, it does make it funny. Exactly. Hi, Carl. Welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, we got comedy level two. Very good. Oh, you're thinking about Langston. Oh, send him a little text. Send him a little text. Um, send a happy text. Oh, yeah. Wasn't Brooklyn your neighbor? <gasps> oh, yeah. That was a whole other messy household situation there. So I'm considering aging up the twins early. That's what we also did. I did age all of them up. Um, I agree. Let's go out and enjoy the day. That feels like a really weird place to go. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to Sulani with you. Um, life advice that it's just a blank. It feels very weird that everyone is like, musical insecurity from badly played music. No, your music is so good, BB. Don't you worry about it. Oh, I guess you are only level one of the drum skill. Well, you're about to get level two. You'll be fine. Honk, thank you for the honks. Very good. L gained the drum skill. But you do need to go to the bathroom, so go do that. Uh, Gen 3 came up early because I finished Gen 2 and then got bored of the in-between. Yeah. We aged all of them up early because they were teens. And they had, like, a week left to live as a te like as teens. Um, And so I was just like, there. this is too long. This is far too long. Now, um, L ages up here. So we still have, like, a decent amount of time until they're, like, adults. Um... But it feels... Oh, they all literally age up on the same day. They all age up on... That's fine. That's fine. We had some aging issues in this uh, save file whenever the high school pack came out. And so we've been very uh back and forth. Oh my god, look at this little... Um, also, that's fine. Uh, that's fine, Dan. I'm gonna have you sell this just because I need to... Um, need you to get the entrepreneur skill. Look how they're all just like hanging out. Do you have light? Do we have lights in this house? I actually don't think we do. Triplets by choice. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not against them actually all having the same birthday. I think that's kind of fun. Uh. Why are you sad? Upset crush from oh. crushing on someone feeling bad. Who's feeling bad? Why do you have that sentiment? Super siblings. What is that from? A great relationship with ally sibling, blood or not. Soup or siblings. I don't remember that ever becoming a thing. Why does Gerard have a helmet on? Oh my god, wait, Gerard's around. Where's Gerard at? Oh my god, Gerard's outside. <laughs> wait, are you still pregnant? Are you still pregnant? You are still pregnant. Okay. With lengths, that's, I don't. Mm. Wait, okay, wait, if you're here, let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. Um. Call over. Needs to be invited in first. Okay, well, can I just... Um... Ask what day. Go talk. Go have a little chat. Yeah, is the Miracle Baby still a go? Still a go. Get some soup. Ooh. Um, having a legacy over. Uh, still near the beginning anyway. My Sims already bring home more money than I expected yeah. and trying to come up with a story as I go. That's very fair. Just got super sibling zoned. <laughs> oh, ask for due date. True. Um, let's maybe do, let's see, ask for love advice. I have a deep personal convo. Cause I don't think we have like any, oh, are you leaving already? Oh no, you're still hanging out. Why are you so tense, BB? Why are you so tense? I didn't know that they're, I can't believe that they have another kid. They're going to have another kid. Wait, I want to take a screenshot of this. Headline effects off. Uh, uh, oh, I'm going to cry. Look at how cute they are. Add uh, the song. I don't think I did. I don't think so. I think this one's been on here for a while. That's Gerard. Yeah, emo. I hope this baby doesn't have a broken nose. We can, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. This is actually really adorable. 
Uh, 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 it's so cute. Can we add? Okay, I want to ask due date. Um, the Sims channel. Everyone loves sharing their ideas for stories. True. I'm going crazy. No, you're all good. Who knocked over my? Was that L? L, get your shit together. Get your shit together. Um, I want to. Oh wait, ask baby's due date was right there. Oh my god, somebody has the same hair as L. Somebody has the same hair as L. You have to fight them. Can you fight whoever this is? Who are you? Um, headline effects. Who are you? Can I fight you? That's oh, a teen. You can't actually fight them. Um. <laughs> uh, and Bring, no, they just have white hair. They just have white hair. Um. They just have some white hair. Let's have you. Um, go here. I need you to go blow off some steam because you are not doing well. <laughs> We're not doing well right now. Um, dislikes video gaming? No. I mean, I guess you can like dislike video gaming, but it's just because you're really mad right now. <laughs> Friendly. Let's just do... Um, or right. is Gerard leaving? Okay, bye, Gerard. Okay, bye. How invested I am? Oh my goodness. You, I mean, I guess if you really want to play the drums, who is, who is Donald? Oh, it, I didn't know, Don, uh, Jonathan's brother, Donald. <laughs> oh, that's really funny to me. That's really funny. Um, maybe we will do a little social function. Maybe we can do... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just invite people over for like dinner or something. Donald. Donald. Um. Or should we go over there? Maybe we'll go over to Gerard and Langston's for food. Oh, let's go pick this up. Oh, maybe not. I feel like you wouldn't. Have the strangest names? It's a really good question. What who what does Jonathan's family look like? What does our family tree look like? Donald? Mateo. So there's Afu and Noah. And then Noah is the child of Ava Har Harjo. Who I think is one of the... Is that... Andrea... Fiona... I guess... Isn't that one of the the townies from high school? Hacker, I think? Um... What are you going to do? Oh, you are going to go pick it up. I thought I told you you don't have to, but that's okay. You know what? That's fine. Uh, oh, we actually aren't good at comedy. I didn't realize that Arca was not very good at uh, the com like the comedy skill. Let's go do... Um, go do a little tickle of the ivories. A little tickle of the ivories. Oh, Yes. Yes, because it probably will end up having to be after the new year. I'm so sorry. I keep like, I keep just forgetting about it. Oh, my little brain. As like, I'm making my channel and I'm like, yes, this is fine. And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> but yes, pants. That would actually, that would be so lovely. Thank you for, again, continuously reminding me. Because I have the smallest brain in distance. I really appreciate that. Look at them go on the drums. Honestly, I like how Jonathan was like, yeah, it's my turn on the drums. <laughs> It's my turn on the drums. Um, okay, let's go. I actually might have you do some painting today. Just to get a little bit of money. I feel like that could be a nice little side hobby for Jonathan. Is to um do to do some painting. What are you doing? Are oh, you thinking about family member? That's really cute. Even though you're like blood brothers. Um when I do so? Oh my god, yes, thank you. Wait, Pants, that actually is really lovely. I've never played Sims Medieval before Lacey, and we had a sub goal like a while back to play it, and we hit it. And I'm gonna play it also in my Ren Faire outfit, um, which is very fun. Um, I'm very excited for it. But yeah, I uh, <laughs> I was not great at um, like remembering. I keep forgetting that uh, that was one of our things, that, and I have to do it. <laughs> but I really wanna play, because everyone was like, yes. This is, this is like the thing to do. Do we have frogs that I can go get somewhere? I 
any frog things around here? Or is it all just these little mother plant things? Why are you embarrassed? Oh, from your crush being nearby. Can you two stop crushing on each other, please? Wild Bazaar plant. Honestly, Jonathan would probably go look at all of those. Are there any little frog things? Um, offer advice is requested. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, if you know this is my plan, after finishing the Not So Berry Challenge is to go right into Road to Rainbow. Ooh, but everyone wears their pride flag colors and decorates. <gasps> oh, wait, I love that idea, Sunflower. That's such a cool idea. I love that. Is there nowhere for me to get frogs around here? Maybe we have to go to a park or something. Maybe it's park time. That's fine. We'll leave it as is. I think for now, um, LU, why don't you go on a little jog? I feel like that's kind of like, I feel like you go, oh, if you're pushing the limits, I don't want you to do that necessarily. Maybe you can go do some cooking. I don't know if they've cooked here yet. So maybe go do a little serve lunch. Make some, make some mac and cheese. I probably didn't need to make eight mac and cheese actually. Can you not make eight mac and cheese? Can you only make, f I think you only need to make four servings. I think I'll be fine with that. Nope. Mm, I made, nope. I'm very confused there. Yeah. Uh, trying to type how to find buttons because the UI is drastically different from Sims 4 and even a bit different. Oh, you go a lot when you play Sims. I'm really excited. I think it'll be really fun, but I am terrified. I'm like nervous. I won't lie. I'm very nervous about it. Um, can you do another surreal surrealism? Maybe do a large one. Not. Oh, why are you mad? Uh, angry about your crush. Can you do stop having a crush on each other? Like you're literally together. I don't understand why they still have a crush on each other because they're literally together. Like, isn't Jonathan your best friends, not exclusive relationship, girl, boyfriend, partner, partner, really, but feels weird that like you still get very nervous about the crush sentiment. Oh, it's fine. That's fine. Why are you mad? Oh my lord. Um, for two years, I'm far too attached to their family tree to not continue it past Gen 10 or 10 to 10th Gen. I agree. I think on in this save file, I'll definitely keep going. I'll definitely keep going. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, I forgot. Should we should we add cyanide to this group? To this uh to this town? Should we add cyanide to the save file? What if they be what if I'm saying like what if cyanide just like joined their household? Bring in on the cyanide, okay. For those I don't know, in our hunter baby challenge. For a hunter baby challenge, we had a um it's true, them being interested or nervous around their partner is a little bit of an interesting thing. But for our hunter baby challenge, we have a kid. We had a kid, um something gender neutral like dating. I agree, Lacey. I agree. Um, but cyanide is from our hunter baby challenge, and we were so genuinely I'm in love with cyanide, first of all. Cyanide's vibes, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. It would fit into this trio. Like, very well. Very well. Okay, let's do mine. Um, include CC. Here's Cy- This is the Cyanides. Um, hold on. I need to go into create a sim really quick. Can make it really awkward going for- True! That is true. Um. Here we go. Let's add this family. This is- Uh, so this is- We had, like, every five in our baby challenge, every five kids has a different name theme. Um, I didn't mean to merge. I meant to replace, but that's fine. Let you slim sim one goodbye. Um, but this was our poison generate, like our poison group of kids. So we have hemlock, um, anthrax, arsenic, belladonna <laughs> or belladonna, and then cyanide. And here's cyanide. And we were like, cyanide fits the vibes of this generation, like, really well. Um, so what if we... What if we just have cyanide join us, you know? Cyanide's got a bit of a chin. Those eyes, though, I'm literally like... <laughs> 
this i'm i'm literally all i'm doing mermaid is grabbing cyanide for this save file i'm deleting all the siblings goodbye siblings um but we're putting cyanide in the save file because we're all a little obsessed with cyanide so we want to we want to bring him along looks into my special eyes yeah um rip the rest of the kids <laughs> Rip to the rest of the kids. I feel like maybe Cyanide could be one of their neighbors and maybe they could meet. Because Cyanide's also a party animal and I feel like maybe they invite Cyanide over for parties. Maybe that's how they meet. Maybe they're like, they're in the same. Oh, you also, I mean, yeah, you're like a DJ. I feel like they have to know each other, you know? My legacy game, that's fair. Very fair. Hmm. Um, but I'm just going to throw Cyanide like in to a, into a house. I think, do we have any... There's no real empty lots. I could have you evict. Furnished. Yeah, you can live here. You can be their neighbor. Um, soup and pasta. Yes. Yes. There's no soup names. We do have pasta names. Soup names would be really good. I should add that to the list. They're breeding fish, mom. The stranger build to meet their new besties. Half joking. It's true. Then we go to manage worlds. There you go, bestie. You live there. That's for you. Lives in the trailer just vibing. It's just vibing. We do have a child named Ravioli. Yes. Yeah. Ravioli. Rigatoni, Ravioli, Fettuccine, Alfredo. And then Linguini as well. And the pasta kid names. Um. But yeah, I think we'll do that. And then I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. Was Cyanide? Was Cyanide's orientation? I don't remember. Cyanide and Elle feel like they're going to be good friends. I could kind of see it. Me Hear me out, chat room. Hear me out. Elle has a little bit of a... Gay awakening. Elle has a little bit of a gay awakening. And maybe... That gay awakening is cyanide. Saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> the side eye. I'm just saying. Just got some ideas, you know? Can you go resume that painting? I'll, I'll be honest. I don't think um, cyanide has... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at all the townies right now. Esmeralda Price. <gasps> Esmeralda. Esmeralda's kind of got the vibes. Kind of the vibes. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like... <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, it's the mac and cheese. Put that in there. Can you continue, please, this painting? That's an opinion? No, oh, not painting. Is it because it's like... Can you not get to it? Can you? Hello? Let me move this. Maybe this is in the way. I'm just saying. You know, maybe Elle just like didn't. Elle didn't have like a. Like wasn't sure. Like didn't know. Didn't know. He was by. And then all of a sudden was like, oh boy. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. We got some sentiments. I think it's the spending a lot of time together for sentiment. That's really cute. Uh, what do you want to do? Be mischievous. Play any instrument. Let's do... Um, should we go meet? Let's go meet. Let's go do... Move in household from a gallery. Oh, there's somebody that lives there. I just put, I just moved them there. What do you mean, move in household from the gallery? Oh, I, I would have to visit it. Mm. Be like, I don't like romance except for this chocolate bar. Exactly. Um, so we can upkeep your so friendship. I think it does. I think it does, Petite. I believe so. Um, good apples. Um, is there? We'll have to just keep an eye around and see if uh, we see cyanide at some point. Um. What did I want? Oh, I need to look and see. What are your skills? Because we need to max out mischief is our big one. We're only at mischief level four. Can you go troll the forms? You seem like you would troll the forms very much. 
This feels like your vibes. Go troll the forums a little bit. Are you okay? Yeah, you're just dancing. You're just. Um, play an instrument. Will this count? Gosh, I have the hiccups right now. Me. Um. Who is me? Sell that. Cause I'm also just getting us a little bit of cash. Oh, it's five. Let's have a little party. Let's have a little party. Um. Social. There it is. I was like, where's social? Um. Plan a social event. Oh, I wonder. Is there a way that I could? Like, I wonder if I do this, like, would I, would Sinai just, like, show up on here? No, damn it. I thought maybe. I thought there was potential. thought there was potential. I think we have to go visit. So let's go do that. We'll go visit first. The phone's old. Do you want, I think that, no, I think that's super fair. Um, I don't mind this one as much. Let's go do a visit. Um, you and Jonathan can go. Wait, is Sonia around? I just saw Sonia's name coming up as somebody to bring with us. Like, maybe on the lot. Um. And even improve on them. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like you get some sort of, like, boost from them, or from Social Bunny a little bit. But we'll go, we're gonna go, like, just invite them. We're like, hey, welcome to the neighborhood, friend. We live in the really run-down factory across the street. <laughs> and I feel like cyanide would be thousand percent into it the cyanide would be like absolutely fuck yeah fuck yeah um is baby boy even home i don't know that's the real question that's the real question is if he's even here oh he is look at that oh my god hello flirty introduction off the bat no maybe i mean i guess maybe but I feel like a friendly introduction is the vibe. I should look at, let's look at Cyanide's uh, orientation identity oh, view. Bye, also, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Cyanide's T for T though. We can make something work. I forgot that. I'll be honest. I forgot Cyanide was trans. <laughs> I forgot Cyanide was trans. <laughs> oh. But also, they're both aromantic. So I'm like, maybe. I think we can maybe make things work. We can maybe make things work. I don't know. L does kind of also give like a gender vibes, I feel like. A love triangle for the Jonathan. Ooh. It says Jonathan is trans too. That is fair. That is fair. Why is everybody's uh, past so hard? People, for I genuinely forgot Cyanide was trans. Um, Let's do a little friendly introduction. Ooh, you think Cyanide's sophisticated. Ooh, okay, what, is our, what, are, what are our vibes here? Wait a minute. Oh, are you still technically uh, meeting? <laughs> oh, here we go. Cyanide. Okay, open Sims profile. Oh, uh, Cyanide thinks we're a nature maniac, which isn't wrong. Isn't wrong. What are your thoughts on each other? Sophisticated and fun to be around. He lives in a motherfucking trailer. That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, yeah, no, hey, that's, yeah, fair enough. Dude, why are you just gonna kiss his, what are you going on? Um, impersonate celebrity, that's funny. Um, let's do, I don't know, maybe we'll just do, get, get a little get to know, a little get to know. Um, have a little chat, and then we're gonna invite over for a party. I think we're gonna have a little banger. A music. See, this is perfect. Oh my god, this is perfect. Okay, can you bond over share conspiracy theories? No, I feel like you would, um, maybe discuss your favorite band together. You live in a warehouse. Maybe your trailer seems sophisticated. True. I guess it's. You know what? That's fair. That's pretty fair. I do have to give Cyanide a little bit of a makeover. I think so that this uh, and all all the outfits, um, are what they need to be. 
The fact that your home is on four wheels, I mean, it's all lovingly. I've lived in a trailer for a period of time. Yeah, it's fair. Okay, so that was, we had a good discussion. Oh, are you, oh, are you just gonna casually make out in his home? As he makes food? So it's like, I'm gonna make some lunch. And they're like, well, we're gonna passionately make out in your kitchen. Bye. That was so uncalled for. Oh my God. Me out to assert dominance. They're also, <laughs> they were all nervous at each other and then they just like, and then passionately make out in the kitchen. Okay, we're gonna go back home and we're gonna throw a rager. Throwing a rager. And by a rager, I mean, it'll probably just be like a few people hanging out at the house. I don't know. Oh my god, I've heard about Char We have to invite Charlie and Malia too. Because we haven't talked to Charlie and Malia in a while. I think since running away, we haven't talked to them. They were all in a band together. Like a little group. Um, and then things kind of got awkward between Charlie and Arca. They were like trying to date. And then like they weren't really dating. It didn't go well. Because um, Arca was like, well, I'm I'm polyam. So like I would, I really would like to have an open relationship. Um, well, technically diff like, indifferent. But... Arca was with Jonathan and Jonathan was like, well, we could have a, like a polycule. And then Charlie was like, no, I'm not here for it. I don't want to do that. And so they kind of fell out. They kind of fell out, which is a little sad, if you ask me. Um, but let's do okay, Let's plan a social event. Maybe we'll invite them over. I don't want adrenaline from making out in a stranger's home. I think so. Honestly, I think so. Oh, I think so. Um. Oh my god, we got the responsible trait. How how did Arca get the responsible trait? That's really funny. Should we do a ooh, should we do a keg party? Or should we do a dance party? A house party? We could maybe do a house party. Or would would a, I think a keg party would make more sense. Let's do a keg party. We could buy a keg. I think that's a host is going to be Arca. Uh, oh, wait, no. You two are going to join. Um, Malia can come hang out. Oh, yeah. I, thought, I forgot we made out with Jack one time. We'll be able to play Genshin on it. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Um, Carly, Sonia can come. Langston and Gerard. Should we invite them or no? we invite them or is that weird? I'll leave them here for a second. We're not inviting Marka. Oh, we could invite Logan, uh, unless. How old are you? Because Logan's our cousin. Let's invite Charlie. Cyanide's coming over. Um, inviting your pregnant father to a keg party. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, Gerard's pregnant again. So we. So Gerard, I like went over to show everyone the house, to, like show them like Gerard and like, you know, Arca's parents and stuff. Uh, and turns out, <laughs> turns out that uh, Gerard's pregnant again. Um, an act of God happened, really. Oh, let's bring Adriana. Because if we're going to bring Sonia, we should bring Adriana. And then who is your... Michael, Michael's your boyfriend. Where is, oh, I don't know Michael apparently. So your boyfriend doesn't get to come over, unfortunately. Aren't you like engaged? I think they're engaged. Um, But we'll bring Logan. We'll invite Logan over. Less, maybe not. We'll invite Logan over. Oh my God, wait, is Logan gonna be? I don't know if Logan's, Uh, I think Logan might be not a young adult yet. Hi, big cat. How are you? Yeah, Gerard has a miracle baby right now. Because <laughs> literally, Gerard has the infertile trait, but it has ha has a child. Has a child. So, um, we are. It's. It wasn't even a ma It wasn't an alien baby. It's literally, um, like the the parent in MC Command Center is Langston. It's I don't understand what happened. So I'm gonna have to fix that at some point. Ooh, see, I need to smack that. Marco Matsuko Rico. I love Marco. I love Marco. Marco. Marco is Jules. Um, Jules Rico's 
uh, oopsie child, oopsie child, um, that we ended up taking in. And then when he married his now wife, I think, what is his now wife's name? Oh, I guess I don't know his wife. Well, not at some point. I, just, I don't care. Evan, goodbye. Don't be a dickhead. Thoughts and opinions. Um, probably not too... Well, actually, no. I just saw the time. Um, probably for like another like half hour to an hour, Mango. Um, I do have Risky Woohoo on. Yes, I have the Woohoo Wellness mod. Um, yeah, the second Oopsie Child. Because technically both of Jules' children are Oopsie Babies. Um, <laughs> Oopsie Baby. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, we'll go here. Let me do this. Um, and I want to see what I want to see what Marco's wife's name is because I forget. Um, back. No worries. Yeah. So this is Marco, who is um Jules uh Jules's child with Bess. It was a very messy relationship there. Um, and it's currently Melody, Melody Matsuko. Um, they're both veterinarians and they live in Brimble Bay together and they have a little vet office. Um, and they, yeah, they got married and, uh, they didn't want to like, he didn't want to make her take his last name since they were both like, they like met in vet school. Like they met as like, they were becoming doctors. So he was like, well, it's really important for you to have your own last name. Um, and so they did like a hyphenated last name rather than a, um, like one of them taking the other's name. So Matsuko Rico, baby. And then we have Les, uh, Logan and Julia, which I think that said that, yeah, Logan is a high school student. We invited a teenager to the keg party. Okay. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell anybody. It's a teen here. Um, but yeah, this is all the, uh, <laughs> There is, and then do we have? Oh no, it's not in here. Oh yeah, Jules has six grandkids. Yeah. Uh, by the end, Jules married this really lovely surfer man. Um, who Cyrus? His name is Cyrus. Lovely surfer man in Sulani, and lived with us, <laughs> lived with our family for a while in their little Sulani era. Uh, have oh, we don't even have like a a thing. Flirt with someone, drink juice from a juice keg. Okay, we have things that we have to do. Let's do this. Um, okay, juice keg. Should we do pineapple lime, passion fruit, blue raspberry? Ooh, blue raspberry sounds actually really good. I think I'll put this here, maybe. Maybe we'll just do the keg in like the middle of the like of here. Or, um, maybe they'll like we'll move their table over for right now. And I think that they can walk around. So maybe we'll do this. We'll do a little juice moment. Honestly, wait, maybe we'll do the juice moment here. We'll move this. Here. This can stay where it was. Um, I think I put it backwards, but whatever. Uh, is the next gen. Are we going to have to rename them to match their gen? Ooh. That's a good question. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll probably have to rename them. Yeah. Uh, I guess I back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back, friend. Um, let's do. Are we? I meant, are you? Sorry, I just feel. Con no, listen, this is. I say whenever I talk about like our Sims 2, sometimes I'm like us. Like we, we've done this. We've. Uh, <laughs> don't you worry about it. But yeah, no, it, it is. This is a we question because it is very much. I went to say, hi, guys, I'm back. And I said, hi, gays. <laughs> hi, gays. <laughs> I'm back. This is all of us. Listen, y'all have as much say in this uh, as I do. And that is the truth. Um, what am I doing? I need, oh, I need to uh, dance stuff. Yeah, it still worked out quite well, honestly. Also, really ripped this. I think I need to, like, pull this back. Just, like, a lot um, for this to work. Which is really sad because I wanted these to work without having to them, but we'll try like there and see if those work now. If not, we'll see. 
Um, <laughs> waves <laughs> by flicking my wrist. Hello, hello, hello. Um, let's get a. Um, hi, Quinn. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, I feel like they would have like a proper like setup, but I also don't want to spend like an a bunch of money. Maybe this, just like right here. This is like one of my go-tos. Oh, we'll use the amp. Oh wait, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. Let's put this. Honestly, like maybe just like right here. Come on, ostrich. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Hi, friends. Hi, friend. How are you? We already listened to this song once today. I'm gonna gonna. Um, I'm gonna change the music. Wait, what do I want to listen to? What do I want to listen to? That's this one. Sorry, I just went a little cycle through the music there. Um, come on, Asha, thank you for the two months. I hope that you're having a lovely day. How are you? We want to go for like a, a tone on this. Now let's just do the black. Let's do that. I think that works out there. And then I don't think I need to do anything else. I think just have that and all the Sims can dance there. It'll be great. This will be very lovely. Um, finish an entire juice keg. Okay. You, I feel like you are the one that's going to tap the juice keg. Um, let's do that. And then. Oh, Lord. Oh, everyone's. Are you still a teen too? Sorry, I'm going to have to do, I think, some, a little bit of maintenance here. Um, cast dot full edit mode. You should be a, a young adult because I'm pretty sure you're dating Sonya. I'm pretty sure you and Sonya are dating. And so I'm going to make you a, a young adult. I'm just going to age you up. Um, <laughs> NASA, you know. There you go. Oblish, Bernala, Minarsko? There you go. Huh? Um, hi, Nicole. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Let's uh let's 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 do some some things here. Okay. Um let's just give you like what oh god, what alpha did you have? I wish I could I might just copy that. Everyone I the our cousin is still gonna be a teen, like that's totally fine, but I definitely feel like <laughs> um because they're currently dating a young adult. What is your other trait? Oh, I changed all of them. Oh, whatever. These nuts? Don't these nuts me right now. That's so mean. Um, I'm gonna do this a few times. Give you clothes before I forget. You're just like sitting here naked. Um, let's give you that for right now. Um, I don't remember what your like vibe was. I think green feet. You know what? Let's do this. I'm just gonna pick traits for you. No, you're not lactose intolerant. Stop this. Let's go for green fiend because I think that was true. Um, I think you're a very like laid back person. Um, what can I use for that? Um, you're pretty outgoing as well. Um, and. I need like an opposite of like high maintenance trait, but that's not like a negative trait. You know what I mean? Um, like I feel like, um, I guess I could go for a slot. Maybe a vegetarian. Be vegetarian. That's fine. I don't really want necessarily want to go for slot. I guess slob isn't. It's fine. I'll do that. I feel like you are a bit of a laid back. <laughs> laid back sort of person okay um in terms of outfits i feel like i want to go for very like relaxed style for the most part um a little bit of a relaxed style i'm thinking maybe but also this is a party outfit so let's keep that in mind as well um huh. let's see that's kind of fun Maybe something some oh maybe like this. Oh, I think this will be really cute. We'll go for this. I wanna do one of the no, I think I'm just gonna go for maybe just just this first swatch here. Um of course, yeah. If you're interested in like looking at like the minute details and stuff like that, like all of the tiny stuff, there's a link to the challenge itself. 
But the overview is that it's 10 generations of um, LGBTQIA plus gameplay. Each generation is like a different identity. So Gen 1 is the lesbian generation. Gen 2 is um, bi slash pan. Gen 3, which is what we're on right now, is non-binary. Uh, and yeah, it, it was written by a bunch of simmers, myself included. Um, each one that wrote certain generations held the identity that that, that generation has. Um, it's overall just like a very fun, very like relaxed kind of um, relaxed sort of legacy challenge. Very like focused on, you know, storytelling and stuff rather than like, you know, checking off all of these like, you know, check boxes and whatnot. Each gen. Oh, maybe something like this. I feel like this kind of could see. I had just like more. That's not bad, actually. Um. I want like an. Uh, what is? What do you have on here? Oh, that's not uh -huh. five anymore. Oh, what about this? I think one of these could be good. Honestly, maybe that one. Oh, that's really cute. Um, uh, maybe Of course, of course, Nicole. Um. Uh, Dude cat just tried eating my hand. Dude cat was hungry. Also, I like that you just called her El Dude Cat. El Dude Cat. That's so good. That is so good. Um, I think in terms of shoes, we go for like some something like that. Something really relaxed, kind of like chill. And then we'll do um, <laughs> not the good. I'm sick. Um, let's do like this. I think it's just a little. We'll go for maybe in like a white, maybe a blue. Not as blue as I thought it was going to be. Mm. I feel like I have some other good. Do I have other hats? I don't. I guess that one's fine. I'll just go for that like blue. Oh, you know what? I definitely do have other hats. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I know I do. I know I do. I don't know where they are. Bucket hat. We could do a little bucket hat moment. Because that's when I know has some light colors. Um, or no hat. I guess also work. I want to use this one. I think I'm going to use this one. But I'm just going to go for it in like a lighter tone. I guess L dude. Yeah, no, you're right. It is just her name backwards. You're right. You're right. Um, uh, TikTok comment. So I am back to watch the safe stream. Oh no, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. TikTok comments are a scary place. That's for sure. All right, very good. You have been. Oh Lord, Cyanide. We're okay. We have to do some makeovers because Cyanide would not be caught dead wearing this. <laughs> Cyanide would not. Oh, absolutely not. Trans. I forgot that you're trans. <laughs> I forgot he was trans again. I forgot he was trans. All right. First, we need to get all of the piercings. Um. And oh god. Uh, Cyanide is just like. Hot, 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 hot. Uh, nose piercing and ear piercings, right? What kind of nose piercing do you have? Do you have a septum? Was it a septum? I think it was. A silver septum. Eyebrow slit. I'm like, they're so. Oh my goodness. Best place in the world or the living hell. No in between. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what we had, and then some ear piercings. Um, I think I remember which ones they were. They were this, but different. No, not that. Oh, maybe they're not in party. That might be why. Oh, yeah, here they are. There we go. Very good. Honestly, slay. And then, what do we feel like Cyanid would wear? I feel like... Something along the lines uh, of one of these. I feel like that has some potential there. I also, ooh. Or, 
one of these. Mm, maybe not that one. Thank you for the self-care check. I uh, appreciate that. Chat, this is a reminder to drink some water, eat some food, get up, stretch, walk around. Oh my god, wait, what if we do this? What if we do this bodysuit? Hear me out. Hear me out. We get some good pants. Uh, not those. Um... Uh, then I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, that is very fair. I do the same thing when I'm watching streams. Um, like, um, find like the pants that I want. But Cyanide's very gay. Cyanide is is pretty gay, I think. I actually have to find out what Cyanide's identity is, or like orientation. I mean, um. But I can't. That's whore behavior, sir. But I'm here for it. Um, <laughs> this is also a med check reminder. Um, for if you need to take meds. I'm trying to see if like any of these are like speaking to me, honestly. <laughs> that one's quite nice. That one's quite nice. I also have this one, but I think this is what Arca wears. Arca has this as party attire, so. Yes, and I was in utter shock you didn't hear me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I think Arca is wearing this, so I'm like, I don't know if I necessarily want to repeat that. <gasps> I know what we can do. Let's find you. Let's find you a shirt that we like first. Um, Not the Gucci. I don't think you're going to be wearing the Gucci. Maybe this? And then I have, <laughs> I have a little something, something, which, what's the, I think this one, which I think actually Arca also wears this in this one specifically. Oh, I also have these too. I want to use one of the, oh, wait a minute. Do we have one of these that I'm like really vibing with? A little mesh shirt. Kind of a banger. Kind of a banger. But I What are our thoughts? What are our opinions? How are we feeling about that? Personally, I like it. I don't like it. And then we could do like a little. Oh, do I not have more ring stuff? Oh, damn. Pretty slay. Kind of slay. But I was like, I wanted to do like maybe potentially a shirt over it, but I don't think I have. Get out of here. Hmm. We also already listened to the song today. I'm skipping it. Also, it's a very feral move on behalf of Saturday Night. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like it's got some potential. And then I feel like we could do a little, a little bit of that, maybe, potentially, possibly. We also have these, which are. Quite nice. Extremely slay. <laughs> Gonna trigger Elle's awakening? That's kind of what I'm thinking, you know? I also have these. They're dirty as fuck. But I kind of like am a little I'm kind of into them. <laughs> kind of into them. Um Oh. What if we do so a little bit of the chain is kind of nice. I don't know why, but I really like just like the really ripped pants. Um. Mm. What does this one belong to? That's the question. What pants do these belong to? Those are kind of nice too. I have some shirt, other shirts that we could check um, to see if they would work too. 
I also have these pants, which I like. Um, and these ones as well. I don't know what vibe I want to go for for you. I also... I do have some skirts. I do have a little... Oh, one of these. I think this has, like... Hmm. Huh. I don't know what the vibe to go for is. I kind of am feeling these could work. What's the vibe we went for for this? I don't know if he would wear like super ripped jeans, you know? So a piece makes you feel something if you're at a loss. I think I might go for something like, I think maybe these. I think these are gonna be the shorts. And then we have to just kind of go, I think, from here. Can I get... No. Uh, these are for, like, a suit set that I have that I really want to use. I really want to use them. Um, but I haven't been able to use it yet. Maybe if we go for, like, a, eventually... Ooh, okay, wait. And then hear me out. We have some... I don't know if a crop top is necessarily the vibe. Oh, hey, look, where'd your middle go? Goodbye to the middle part. Um. Hmm. I definitely feel like I want to go for. I. Do we go for maybe this bodysuit? Maybe this bodysuit. Um. Maybe the ones without the arms though. I have a CC too. It's so funny to me. I kind of love it. Like that? Hi, Naya. Welcome in. How are you? I like that a lot. I think I'd want to change the pants. I just want them to be, like, slightly higher. We could also go for, like, a t-shirt. Hmm. This is a difficult decision. Why is it so hard? So hard. Um. Hmm. Wait a minute. Obviously, Prego Sim suddenly had no torso. <gasps> Could you imagine? The skin type bias is awakening something in me. I like the. I do like that. Uh, my dad's best friend doesn't agree with the gays, and I went, you should stop being friends with him, and my dad started defending him, saying he can believe what he wants to believe. Well, I believe he should fuck himself. So true! So true, Prime. I'm sorry I have to deal with that, though. That's so shitty. That's so shitty. You know, I'm, atta I'm too attached to this. I'm too attached to this. So, okay, what if we did... There's just a little something, something to the imagination there. A little... I feel like the super low weight. I mean, I guess they're not horrible. They're not bad. Makes me want to do like like a skinny like jean instead, though. But I do want one with a belt. How do you keep your pants up when you're performing? Belt. Um. That's that's so concerning. I hate old people, honestly. Like, aren't you an LGBTQIA plus LGBTQIA? Yeah, like, come on. Come on, now. The white pants. The, wh the white pants. A whole different game. Oh my gosh, that's very fair. Very, very fair. I personally am a CC fiend, if you could believe it. Also, this one. I am enjoying. Oh, maybe we'll go for these pants. I don't like that. I won't like you. And then I think for shoes. I think we're going to go for just these. I think in a black. Um, 
the different bra and it was unsuccessful. I disagree, my friend. I fought the Grim Reaper. Yeah. I think that that should count for like fighting like 14 people, you know? Um, somebody and I'm like, oh, so <laughs> both of you are not using your brains. Oh, I'm so sorry, Prime. That's so incredibly fresh. I forgot I have these. Hold on, we have to rethink this outfit. We have to rethink this outfit because I have these and I have to use them. I have to use these. Uh -huh. mm, scrumptious. Scrumptious. I need pants that will work with these though. That's gonna be the real hard thing. Would Cyanide be comfortable enough in his trans identity to wear a skirt? We could do that. Sorry, I need to... I accidentally dropped something behind my desk. I need to see if I can get it. Ugh. There we go. Uh, no time to argue with an old man. Yeah. Sometimes it's just not fucking worth it. Especially if you don't think they're going to, like, really change. It's just not worth it sometimes. Because that skirt is far. I'm, like, kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. What kind of... What a swatch? Do we have any fun swatches here? Any, like... I actually don't mind the white, even. With, like, a little... Mm, a little tea. A little. I also have these. Wait a minute. Do I in here? Do I have? Could you? Would you? Maybe, possibly, potentially. I thought I had. There's something that I thought I have, and I'm gonna see if I can find it. Um, a knife holster on his thigh with yes, yes. I have these like, what's the word for it? Oh, it's so high up. I mean, it's kind of there though. You can kind of see it. Oh, you can see that one pretty well. Oh, so is it a garden garter? Is it is that what that is that the word that I'm looking for? Um, a little something something. Um, yeah, yeah. Dude, Cyanide knows. Cyanide knows. Listen, he's a pretty boy, and he knows it. I think maybe those could be really fun, or. I honestly am really attached to these boots. I think I'm gonna use those. That's not, thanks your tumbler. Yeah, I really like it. I think I'm gonna use that. Honestly, a vibe. Uh, is it time for cyanide to have more tats? I think I'm adding more tats. I like how this stays on. I'm not asking questions. Um. Now I want to see if I can find. Full body tat wise, I kind of yeah. <laughs> wander.exe. That to me. Fucking okay, Um, NGO. Oh, is that because of the thigh thing? I'm gonna cry. Oh, I can't use it. Oh, no. It doesn't work with the eyelashes. Is the other one? Um, no, that's so fucked. That's so rude to specifically me. Um, honestly, I might go for that tat set. That tat set is kind of giving me what I want. The frog, the poor frog is gone, though. That would be the only downside. They are skin detail lashes. They are, and they still clash. It's very sad. Um... That, I think, is the frog tat. Where's the other tat piece that we have on you? Um, Because if there's, like, a... No, they're just lighter. So lip bite? Should we say rip to the frog tat? They have the two slot options, but dang. Oh. 
I am kind of like that. I think I might go for lighter ones. Rip Frog Tat, you served us well. But I'm kind of into that. I'm also going to get rid of the body hair because body hair in this game, as much as I love the idea of it, I wish that I, I, I wish the like, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, okay. I think that's cyanide's vibe. Oh wait. Eyeliner. Um, hi little human Jade. How are you? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, I definitely have. Yes. Let's go for... Hmm. Do I want to do that or do I want to go... I think we're just going to go for... I think that one. Um, Most worth it for a new Simmer. I personally am a really big fan of the pack Get Together. Um, I think the high school pack is also really good. Would definitely recommend high school. Seasons is another really good one. Um, but Get Together is one of my faves. Um, I think the world that it comes with is worth it like a thousand times over. Um, thousand times over. But yeah, Seasons is also really good. Seasons adds a lot of gameplay. What do you, I guess the real question is, what do you, do you know what you want to like do? Do you want to do a lot of, uh, create a sim? Um, and, uh... Or are you more into, like, the idea of building, or are you more into the idea of, like, doing gameplay sort of deal? Because that kind of also will, like, change what you might, um, what you might get. What can you, are you in your hot weather attire? Is that why? Is because there's a heat wave? I'm literally sick. I'm making it so there's not a heat wave right now. Oh, I'm in the wrong household. I'm gonna save go to manage worlds and then I'll do that. Love building and just sort of watching my sims more passively. That's fair. I think definitely for building then, get together is really good. And seasons. Um, those two uh, are my favorite packs. My favorite packs. Um, yeah, clubs are in get together. So if you get that pack, you can do the club system as well as like you get the Windenburg world. Um and a few other I think there's a few other like gameplay aspects that came with that one. Um, and then the high school. I think the high school pack is really good as well. The build by in high school is, I think, one of the best parts. Are we not in a party anymore because I was too busy giving people outfits changes? Can I not? What I could right click on. Do I have UI cheats in? Oh, here we go. Um, I I just want it to be neutral, not hot, not cold. Uh, new neutral, sunny. There we go. Warm is fine. Oh my god, I forgot about Jonathan's little outfit. Okay, let's have a party. Let's have a party. Um, apparently... Uh, plan social event. That. Me doing everyone's, like, outfits, uh, caused our thing to go away. Then we'll go Seasons High School and get together. Yeah, those ones are all definitely very good. Oh, I think you get coffee shops. Cafes? I, yeah. Might be right. Most is gonna be Arca. Yes. Jonathan, L, Adriana can come. Malia, Charlie, Sonia, um, Logan can come hang out. Charlie, Cyanide. Um, here. Yes. Rest in peace. I'm gonna give us $100 back. 100 simoleons back. Um, add it. Because there is no need for me to have. Uh,. I'm just gonna do. I don't know if that actually went in there. I think I. I think that I fucked that one up. Oh yeah, that's your party attire. I forgot about that. They're still in their Halloween party attire. We're gonna not do a keg stand. Oh my god, wait. Hear me out. Okay. L. What if you? Oh, you haven't met. You haven't met yet. Friendly. Wait, hold, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. First things that we need to do. Things that we need to do right now. I need to find out what your orientation is. Your T for T, and then what? Bye. And then what are you? 
Can I? Ooh. Oh, I didn't know that you could do that. It is a mod, yes. It is the LGBTQIA plus mod by um this Lumpino, who I'm gonna put their name in chat. Um, that's the person that it made the mod. It's very fantastic. It is so nice. It's so good. So what are you? You're aromantic sis. He him sexual generative. Okay, we gotta make we're gonna have to make this work somehow. We'll see what happens. You know what? Why don't you just meet for right now? Just meet for right now. Maybe hit it off. Maybe become friends. Who knows what's gonna happen after that, you know? That's what's gonna happen. Friendly introduction. Thank you so much for hanging out, Leo. I appreciate that. I do. Maybe clean that up. Um, and then let's do turn on some electronica. Um, game is this game is very in depth. Definitely, I feel like the the learning curve can be a bit high. But shared closeness, uh, awkward comment from socialization. Oh, why did L say that? Stop. That's really. Are you two meeting? Bar. Oh, you think that cyanide is in dreamland? Well, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Tell jokes. Oh, maybe you could tell some jokes. Because I want them to be friends. Are you a teen? Oh, yeah. Logan's a teen. Rest in peace. Oh, my God. Charlie looks so good. Are you just, like, tense from feeling overwhelmed? Oh, and socially awkward tree. Oh, Elle's feeling a little overwhelmed. That's really... Oh, my gosh. Think. Uh, what did that say? Pretend to be... What? What did that say? Come back here. I want that again. I guess it's gone. Drink juice from keg. I feel like... Okay, maybe we'll have L And... Do a keg stand with, you know what? Do one with cyanide. Do one with cyanide. Learn, learn a little bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Jonathan is breaking down. Why are they all hanging out in the bathroom? Oh my god, it's oh, it's Elle's mom. Oh my god, it's Elle's Elle's mom is here. Oh, not Malia being in the... Oh, it's being in the, like, Halloween costumes for me that are really doing it. But I'm not going to change them. I'm not going to change them. It's fine. Um, Wait, did you... Are you two doing that? Did that work? Do I need to, like, move this? Do a keg stand. Cyanide. Did Cyanide say no? That... What happened? Sandra, thank you so much. Oh, oh, here we go. We know Jonathan and... <laughs> Jonathan and Sonia are doing a keg stand instead. Oh my god. This is actually incredible. Hold on, I need to take a screenshot of this. This is so funny. They're really, you know, they're really hitting it off. Oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Okay. Oh, we did we finish the whole juice keg? I want these two to do one because I think that'd be really funny. Oh, look at them go. They're so cute. I love these Sims so much. I'm so just like attached to them. I'm so attached to them. Um, Tell jokes. Oh, we already have like a gold star. Look at that. But we'll still tell jokes anyways. Maybe go... Are you two becoming friends? Attached to you. Hey, yo. Oh, that didn't go well. They had a not great little comment there, I guess. Oh, boring discussion. You two not friendly. Uh, maybe you can. You know what? It could be a little. It could be a little bit of a. Maybe try and tell a joke. Do. Um. I don't know. Do a little. Uh, tell a, a joke about. We don't do a joke about Martians because I feel like that'd be really funny. Be like, it's a joke that only Arca would understand. Um, I feel like I want to turn up the music. Hi. I cannot feel. I cannot hear anything coming out of there, which does make this really funny. You know what? That's fine. 
That's fine. I'm also not everyone eating our house, like eating our food. What's going on? Okay, wait, grab a cup of juice. Everyone should grab some juice. It's juice time. Oh, why are you embarrassed? Oh, from a keg stand fail. Rest in peace to everyone. Oh, not them all trying to do this at the same time. Drink that. You drink that. Can you like call people? No. Oh wait, Charlie is still a teen? Is Malia- Oh my god, Malia and Charlie are still teens too. Also, Lazybug, thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, oh my god, they're still teens. They're still teens. Okay, Sonya and Carly are young adults, though. That's good. Oh, wait, you go to the bathroom, bestie. Go. Do that. Man, I forgot that they're, they would still be teens because we aged everyone up early. I should age them up. I should age them up. I really should. Um, do a keg stand. I kind of want... Oh my god, wait. Are you... Do you have a fitness skill? Which one of you has the fitness skill? That's like really... Your fitness skill is two. Your fitness is three. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you two do a keg stand together? That would be really cute. Wait a minute. Do one with L. Do one with L. I think that that would be very good. I should really age these two up. I'll do that off stream at some point. I'll age them up and give them makeovers. Um, same with Logan. I think Logan should technically, because Logan was a child before. Like, Logan, I think, should technically be a young adult, like, later in uh, his young adult, like, lifespan, if that makes sense. Can you, are you doing this with L? I just think it'd be very funny. Oh my god, not you being embarrassed because of your crush. I'm sick. Oh my god, can you sit here? Wait, can I have you two add... Add to group. And then could you two sit together? If I have you do this... Are these gonna work? I don't know if them or they'll be able to sit here. It looks like one of them works. Nope, that, nope. Rest in peace. I wanted them to hang out somewhere. That's okay. God, everyone dancing is very funny to me. Oh wait, can you go do, can you dance together? Maybe they'll bust it down. You know what, Elle's a few drinks in. Elle's had a few drinks at this point. Maybe it's time, maybe it's time to bust the move on the dance floor. I'm gonna just keep all these. Are you going to sleep? Don't go to sleep, bestie. Don't go to sleep, you're having a party. Also go over here and dance. Oh, hey, we have lights again. Why do those lights just turn on? You know what? Just keep turn on um this room. We'll just keep these on. Busting it down on the dance floor, honestly. Honestly, let's go. Uh, we had slow dance together. Wait, that's actually really funny. I feel like I need to reset you. You're there. We go. Now we have lights on. Not all of them, just standing in the dark. I feel like Jonathan and Cyanide would get together, get along pretty well. Let's have you two chat. Um, oh my god, dance! Have a little dance. Regular 100 baby or vampire? Ooh, vampire 100 baby sounds kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Imagine having to handle vampire teenagers. Oh, horrific. Horrific. Um, oh my god. Elle is out here. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. This. <gasps> oh my god, not everyone watching this happen. Like, oh my god. This is, I love The Sims. I love this game. I love this game. I feel like this has to be the thumbnail, right? For our, our, for our bot. Oh no, rest in peace. Oh, you have to go to the bathroom. Please go to the bathroom. 
Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, Cassandra, that's so exciting though. I love that. That's so good. Okay, everyone is a little tired, so I guess this is gonna end soon anyway. Maybe just do a little. Um, a little thank for coming, you know? Can we do that? Um, that's about neighbors. Oh, I guess I can't. Well, oh, we should take a photo. Wait, you two can take a photo together. We'll do that. Camera, take a photo with cyanide. Take a little photo. It's a little, a little drunk photo. You're having a little. Listen, it's a little party. We definitely did not take nearly enough uh, pics at this party, but that's fine. Arca's asleep. Love that for Arca. Really do. Uh, you can also go. Here we go. Let's see what we got. I feel like we need like a little silly one. A little. Okay, um, I feel like this is always the test on whether or not my sims are going to look good together is I have to take a selfie and I go for one of the romantic poses and then I'm like, oh yeah, no, that's definitely, like, that, that, that's a, that's a good looking couple right there. They're so cute. Oh my god, I feel like something like, oh my god, something like this is, like, very much their vibe. Yes. They're very cute. They're so cute. We got a gold medal. Oh, we got charisma level two. Very good. They're so... They're kind of pretty. They're kind of pretty. That's all I'm saying. I just... L. I have some... Ooh, I have some ideas. Ooh, I have some ideas. I, like, just thought about it, and I was like, oh, wait, I have some, like... Some proper ideas of what we could. Can I? Can I ask you to leave? Ask for blessing to marry. That's hilarious. And the best way. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Definitely very fair. I think so. Like, what if? Maybe after. Maybe after they've had this little. They've like met now. Ellen and I have met. Maybe they hang out a little bit more. Maybe they hang a lot. Hang out a little bit more. And uh, let's do. Um, Auto lights, and and maybe L talking to Cyanide makes him question, you know, his identity and like who he is, and you know maybe something will come of it. Maybe something will come of it. I feel like that could be a nice little road to go down, um, and see. Are you two just gonna hang out at my house? Like, they're really having like a full on conversation in our house uh, after everyone is in bed. I love it. I love it. Oh, everyone's needs are so bad. Who just left our house? I don't even know who that was. Cyanide is just still in our house. Can I help you? Are you just gonna keep? I don't know why Cyanide's still here, but, oh, okay. I was gonna say, well, we can make it work. Maybe, you know, L wakes up hungry or whatever. And then first off, you can go get leftovers. Go get some scrambled eggs. Mass has gone further. Oh no. Yeah, Cyanide, you good? And, like, I don't know, you see that Cyanide's, like, still just hanging out. Because I, I feel like they would have, like, an open invitation. Like, oh, if you want to stay over, you absolutely can. Like, you can stay over and, like, sleep on the couch or something like that. That's not what I wanted to do. And maybe they do the, maybe they just have a little chat. Maybe they just have a little chat. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can just get to know. Oh, no, wait. Let, let, let him go to the bathroom. Um, to use Pose Player so I can make custom family portraits. Ooh, honestly, yes. I love that. I'm here for it. I support it thousand percent, thousand percent. Um, let's do. Oh yeah, you could sit together. Just go hang out. But I can't have you sit on the couch right now because apparently the couch 
it doesn't work the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna have to we'll have to change the couch that we have. Um, I'm proud of you. Honestly, pose player is really fun. I love doing poses. For a while, I did poses for our thumbnails and things, but I ended up um. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. I'm gonna change the couch really quick. Hi, Rio. Rio, that emote is so cute. That emote is adorable. Uh, I love that. But rest in peace. We're gonna get our money back at least. But this palette is not working because they can't sit. For some reason, we thought they were really be able to use that. Um, uh, they are a lot of work. I agree. I agree. Let's go for maybe... This is, uh, I just want to dance by glass. Or I don't want to talk. I just want to dance by glass animals. Rio, how are you doing, friend? I hope you're doing well. Um, we'll go for the werewolf's couch, I think. And we'll just do this. Maybe we'll put it at, like, a weird angle. Uh, we'll go for this bad boy. Um... We'll just do it in that. Good, just chilling. Hell yeah. I love glass animals so much. So much. Do this. Um, and that there. They can have a proper couch. Um, in the save, it's worth it. Very fair. Very fair. Go do a little sit together there instead. Just chat and hang out. Um, Glass animals, that's it. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Big fan. Um, I wanted them to just like have a little chat. Maybe a little. Oh, bye. Ask about day. Are you gonna come sit down again? Okay, yeah, you are. What's up, dude? Just like have a little chat. Uh, I don't know. Sharpen. <laughs> Skeep. Go larga. Listen to and rumor. Oh my god. Lucy Ask what happened. Um, Skeep. I wanted to do. Oh, oh my god. Ask for social advice. Yeah. Ask for some social advice. I think that's cute. When do you go to work? Not tomorrow, right? Yeah, you don't have to work tomorrow. Thank God. Or today, I guess, but... Have a little chat. Um, and maybe... Mm, let's just do a little get-to-know. Let's just do a little get-to-know. Uh, see where that gets us. We learned that Cyanide's a music lover. You getting a drink? Oh my god, go you also get a drink. Have a little drink together at six in the morning. Fellas. Fellas. Is it gay? <laughs> oh my god, gossip about the neighbors. Let's do this. Headline effects off. A screenshot or two. Are you just putting that? Yeah, you're putting that back down. Um, because only three people showed up to my class once, and it was because apparently the remaining 40 people literally went to the same Glass Animals concert. By the way, it was before their latest album, they got super popular. <laughs> Portlanders. Uh, I have been a, a pretty big fan of them for a while. I really enjoy their music. Um, and I really want to go see them on tour. <laughs> Really bad. I went to their virtual concert when they did it for the pandemic, but okay. I'm gonna see. Um, let me do a friendly. I feel like you need to go to sleep. So why don't you say goodbye? Went to their Sims concert. Hell yeah, I'm here for it. Say a little goodbye, and then I think go to sleep, my friend. You are a tired, tired little guy. Tired little guy. Um, are you not leaving? Are you not leaving? Send home. I mean, I guess if you want to stay over, you can't. You're just clean. <laughs> he's cleaning out our. He's cleaning it out. Oh my goodness. He's cleaning our fridge. That's actually quite cute. And now he's going home. Just had to wait until we clean, you know, got the fridge clean. Oh god, there's so many smelly cups around. <laughs> this game! Oh! This game! 
busted back into my house after literally going home for not even like an hour or two. Literally like two hours. Left our house for two hours, came back and was like, I want to be best friends. I'm going to say yes, only because I don't want to have negative sentiments right now with um, Cyanide. And I have the multiple, I have like, you can have multiple best friends. Um, I have the thing where I have like, you can have multiple best friends or whatever. So Arca and Elle are still best friends. And now they're still, now they're good, like good. Look at this. Wait, Cyanide thinks that Elle is sophisticated and they're deeply connected. Oh my god. Maybe have you wake up and um Are you leaving my house now? Can I can I tell you to leave? Cuz it's so it's so Please go home. Please go home. Thank you. All right, Ark is awake. Ark are you off to shower? You are. Bridget. Bridget. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, you can go shower. That's fine. And then... God, everyone in this house is actually really stinky. That What is going on? I mean, I guess I know what's going on, but quit that. Quit that! Um, okay, you're doing that. You're sleeping, which is fine. Anybody work today? I think you do, right? You do. You work in 12 hours. Hi, Nikki. How are you? I love you. I love you. Um, This, I'm going to just, like, slide under the stairs, maybe? In case they're going to have, like, a, you know, another keg party at some point, and then we'll put that there. That works. You. Go do that. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Crash can or sink. We literally have both of those. Clean up. Um, these are all things that we have. We have a sink and a trash can. So I don't know why that's uh not working, but you know it's fine. Oh my god, aren't you related to us? I think you're one of Gerard's siblings. You are. Oh, headline effects. Uh. On. Big worth. Who are you related to? You're related to somebody. Oh, you are. You're part of the Laurent household. But you're married to somebody. Um. Who we just learned when we get in Blue Moon next year? Ooh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh my God. Wait, L. You. Sorry, I just went back and forth a bunch. Uh, photo studio. Yo, create a photo gift. Do a little, um, where's the one with the landscape photo print? This one. Oh my God. One of these, <gasps> wait, one of the, uh, blurry ones would be really funny. This one, uh, actually turns blue. That's why I'm so eager. <gasps> That's so sick. I love that. We'll put that there. Maybe we'll put this like here. Or should we put it near our desk? Um, you know what? Let's do it here. Do it here. I, the blurry photos are so funny to me. I love it. Fel fellas. Fellas. Um, and I think the last thing that I'm going to do, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have Elle wake up. Um, you can sleep a little bit later. You should also wake up because you work soon. Go take a shower. The last thing I'm going to do is ponder orientation gender? What is the difference between ponder gender identity? Ponder gender identity is what I want. No. Yes. Right? Hold on, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hi, Mango. Welcome back, friend. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Ponder gender identity is what we want, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. 
I think that's what I want. I think that's what I want. Ponder your gender identity. Um, I think I'm fake. Oh, is it gonna happen like right now? Trans! Trans! Rans. L for the longest time was the token cis the token cis man. Trans. Trans. Oh my god. Wait, that's actually so exciting. That is so fun. That is so fun. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm here for it. We're gonna- you're- I- I need to put you in the closet, unfortunately. We're coming for your gender! Truly. Um, I wanna do... Not- I, Okay. I think you're gonna also maybe turn out that you're not necessarily totally only sexually attracted to feminine sins, but that's fine. Uh, orientation... Um... Where, what would it be? Quick assignments, here we go. Change name, physical, add extra aspects. Can I make you in the closet? No kissing! In the closet. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna be the vibe. Phobic, oh my god, rest in peace. Phobic. In the closet. Although, I guess you, I, you, I'd be fine with you being out by being a romantic, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, we're coming for your gender. Hey, Cracker, I honestly was not expecting um, L to be trans. Well, that's something that we're going to that we're going to tackle next time. Next time we play. That's gonna be a uh, one that we work on. Given we're gonna have to give Elle a little makeover, I think. Oh, I have so many ideas. Oh, I have so many ideas. Maybe we don't even need to give Elle a makeover. Who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, but let's do a little save. I'm not gonna close my game because I'm gonna do some work. I think off stream. Um, but I would like to say thank you all. For